Okay, hey everybody, welcome back to Techie 101 Plays Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards. This will be part four of part four. Uh, let's just move. Uh, I think we all know the... I think we all know the arrangement at this point. Did I duel this guy yet? Oh, I don't remember if I did or not. We shall duel for as long as it takes to defeat you. Prepare to fall. I can't remember if I dueled this guy yet. I don't know. So, yeah, the name of the game now is pretty much just like... I don't even know anymore, man. Just duel until the stream dies. And try to get as much done in the meantime. That's all I can manage. Uh, this Let's Play started out really good, too. I think part one was about an hour long, and that was okay. And then part two was like... Part two lasted, I think, a really good amount of time there. Part two was like a two-hour stream. And then ever since then, it's it's just been crap. So, you know, however long it takes... You know, at this point, I honestly could just, like, forego the live streaming aspect of it. And I could, um, you know, I, I could just, like, record the episodes, but that's not nearly as fun. And who knows? Who knows? Maybe this will be the stream where everything works fine. Maybe it will be. Maybe it will be. Who knows? Anyway, I haven't even acknowledged the chat yet because I'm just like, oh my god, we're actually streaming? It's actually working? I gotta take advantage of this while it lasts. Anyway, how are you all doing today? Happy Saturday, everybody. At least it's Saturday where I'm at. It might be Friday or Sunday, depending on where you're at in the world. I don't think it's Friday anymore. Uh, maybe if you're, like, right, like, right, like, on an island close to, like, if you live in the Aleutian Islands in Alaska and you're right next to the International Dateline, maybe. But, uh, otherwise, I, I don't think it's yesterday anywhere. Happy Saturday, everybody. Yes, I'm gonna close this out. YouTube keeps reminding me like, I literally just started the stream, and YouTube is like, Hey, this is a good time to put an ad in! I'm like, I just started streaming! It's like, yeah, so it's a good time to put an ad in! I don't know. Alright, let's uh, do some Swords of Revealing Light. There we are. The light has been revealed! Do, do, do. do you think human beings will ever reach light speed? That's kind of a weird, deep question to start off a Yu-Gi-Oh! livestream about, but whatever. I'm just looking for anything to discuss at the moment. I mean, light speed, the whole point of light speed is you need, like, infinite energy in order to achieve it, right? And there's just, like, no way, there's, like, no, like, resource on the planet Earth that could provide that amount of energy like it's impossible, right? So, I guess light speed, that, that can never happen. But, I mean, but who knows? I mean, like, you know, I I like to think that, like, well, I, I think human beings, like, you know, we're, we're going to end up, like, destroying ourselves at some point. But, like, who knows? Maybe, like, the, the next uh, species that takes over after us, maybe they'll figure something out. I don't know. They'll be able to harness the power of the, the sun or some shit. Oh, that looks creepy. Ah, that's a five-star. Doll of Demise. Oh, my God. He looks like a demented pop figurine. He looks like a little bobblehead that you pick up at a baseball game. I kind of want one. Doll of Demise! Don't you forget this! Okay, I- You know what's funny also is that I- This is like the fourth part of part four, and I still have- I'm still fighting these rare hunters. I still have no idea where to go. I- I have no idea where to go or what to do. It's that I start the live stream, I duel against one of the rare hunters, maybe two, and then the stream crashes and then I leave. <laughs> Uh, couldn't we reach near light speed? I don't know. See, I have a friend that's in the Navy, and he's more of an engineer, and he knows more about physics and math than I ever cared to know. And it, it, he gets, like, a, he gets as excited with this as I get excited whenever I talk about, like, history or something, you know? Math and stuff was never my forte, but, you know, that's why you have friends. That's why, that's the lesson of every anime ever, you know? It's, like, the friends that you make along the way. That's, like, Luffy building the Straw Hat crew. It's, you have people that you know that are just going to be better at stuff than you ever could be. I'm getting the last volume of Death Note volume. Well, that's cool. Um, I think we're looking for Joey and Taya, right? Like, Joey and Taya got captured by the Rare Hunters, so now we're just traveling around the city looking for them. I, I think I've dueled all of these dudes already, though. I've definitely dueled this guy. Oh, I didn't even know there was an area over there, but there's nothing over there. I will duel! This barrel! Aw, oh, man. I can't duel the barrel. Uh, do you think... Do you not think Vivi can handle her own challenges with her smarts instead of physical strength? Look, all I'm saying about that is, like, 
she was in Marijua. If, like, Eam or the Gorosei or the CP0 wanted VV dead, I mean, like, there's not a 100% chance she's gonna die, but it's a pretty high chance, okay? On her own, with nobody to help her, except maybe Karu. Like, that's a pretty good chance she might not make it. I, although, I don't think she's dead. I think, of course, she's not dead. I think Eam captured her and is, like, gonna, like, ask her some questions or something. Because, obviously, Eam was very... was interested in Vivi. He was looking at her photo in kind of a creepily, kind of longing sort of way. Yeah. All right, guys, where the hell am I going? I, I really don't know at this point. All right, I'm at the point in the game, I'm dueling all the rare hunters. I, I think I've beaten them all at least twice each. Also, Ace cover story is his flashback. Uh... Maybe? I don't think it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the 16 holy bullet things. So, uh, go kidnap Mokuba. <laughs> That's, it's like, I'll just hurry up and kidnap Mokuba, and then that'll make the game go faster. Mokuba, you're coming with me! You appear to be relatively skilled at this. The machine needs a bit more adjusting. Alright. Alright, okay, park. Someone's saying go to the park. Jimmy Naruto is saying go to the park. Hey, it's Jimmy! Hey, I'm Jimmy! I'm a ninja over here! Go to the park over there! I love Jimmy. By the way, if anybody- Oh, shit! Okay, okay, here we go. Thank you, Jimmy! Jimmy! Yeah, you gotta go to the park and defeat all of the rare hunters sequentially! Oh, shit! It's Bandit Keith! With Zara the Mant! <laughs> Ow! My insect queen! It failed utterly! Yo, go, go, go! Yeah! Yo! You may have been the former Japanese champion, but we're an American now. You're nothing before me. Why? Why are you a Why are you a ghoul? Why are you a ghoul? Well, it just seemed like the most American thing to do. So after I went away and got my bandana dyed yellow for the stars, I decided to become American. I got my citizenship and everything. Abraham Lincoln was the 16th president of the United States of America. Power rules above all. Leave your deck and get lost. In America! I love the fact that Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged was like over 12, 15 years ago, and still the In America shit never gets early. Hmm. A new prey comes along ripe for plucking. You can fall victim to my new deck like the others. Oh shit, we're dueling now! I probably should have dueled those other ghouls before I got to Bandit Keith, but whatever. Alright, here we go, guys. Now, Bandit Keith loves to use machine monsters in the... In the, uh, actual anime, so we'll see if he also uses that here. What the fuck? Three back row! We might lose this. I saved right beforehand. Alright. So, let's go ahead with the unhappy girl strategy. Uh, I'm thinking he's not going to just spam a bunch of fiends at me, though. I feel like there's gonna be some more shit there. Oh, stop defense! That's not good, actually. Shit. Oh! That's- wow. Okay, yeah, dark monsters. Okay, I still have this- I still have this right here. I haven't thrown it away yet. Dark is beaten by dream. I do have some dream monsters in my deck. In fact, I think- yeah, yeah, actually, time wizard is one! Infinite dismissal. I think that just paralyzes me. I will defeat you with my time wizard. Oh shit, he's got feeds and Oh my god, he's got actual plans and strategies. I should have known dueling against a true American like Bandit Keith. Uh yeah, I think I lost this unless I draw something. Well, wait, no, I don't think I have yet. Wait. Nemuriko! All monsters will fall asleep. All right, I might be able to survive one more turn. Oh my god, he passed! Holy shit, he passed! Okay, good. Uh, yeah, summon Morphine. Wait. Dark beats light. Okay, we're good. Summon Morphine! Infinite Dismissal, whatever, I don't care. Okay, he just has like a bunch, he just spams Infinite Dismissals. Yes! Okay, cool. Now, if we could, now we can start laying the pressure on him if we could start getting some, like, Raigekis and shit. Oh my god, would you lay off the infinite dismissals? You top deck three infinite dismissals. Get screwed, Keith. Alright. It's time you pulled out the Great Moth. What? Are you not paying attention? Weevil had the Great Moth and it did nothing! 
I heard the Yu-Gi-Oh creator passed away. Yeah, that was a while back. That was back in July. I was on vacation when that happened. Uh, yeah, uh, he actually was out, like, snorkeling, and I guess something happened, and he drowned, and he just washed ashore. It was, like, super fucked up. I still plan on making... I want to make a live stream, like, in a, rem uh, like a memoriam to his life. But I have to do, like, a lot of res uh, a lot of uh, research on his uh, life and everything like that, Takahashi. Okay, draw. Oh, Torrential Tribute. Nice. Majerus Light. Nani? Yu-Gi-Oh! is underrated. I like Yu-Gi-Oh! You know what? I've liked Yu-Gi-Oh! more than Pokemon. Oh, oh, oh! Barrel Dragon! He spammed Barrel Dragon? Well, that's okay, because I do have Torrential, so... Okay, up to three monsters on the fields will be wiped out at a 50% success rate. Okay, so it's a flip of the coin, basically. Shit! Well, that's okay, I still have Torrential. I can't summon... Oh, man, I can't summon anything. I have to discard something. Alright, I will discard this. Alright. Okay, okay, we got Torrential. Alright, Keith. Alright, yeah! Oh, I should have powered it up first. Ah, uh, man, I should have... Oh, my God, he's out. Oh, my God, I'm getting... Oh, yeah, my other Torrential. Man, I am getting way luckier than I should be here. Ancient Tool! Because you're an ancient tool, Keith. Machine Conversion Factor. Okay, that just boosts up a monster by a little bit. Not a big deal. Not a huge deal. I actually should get that for my Ancient Tool. Oh, look at that. Dark Magician's powered up. Skalengel. Activate the effect. Draw a card. That actually might come in handy. Oh, shit. He's got... Yaiba Robo. Man, I love the theme for this. I've talked about it before, but I love the music in this game. Is this actually going to finally be the episode where we can actually win? Oh, man. Do I summon Dark Magician? I feel like I have to. The special limited edition first edition Chinese Dark Magician. Dark magic attack! Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, well, that was... Yeah, that was a trick. Yeah, Keith's got... Like, unlike in Forbidden Memories, where, like... Sometimes, like, in Forbidden Memories, I remember, like, Kaiba had the Blue-Eyes White Dragon, and when we dueled him, he did bust it out. But, like, they will never usually... It's not always a guarantee they'll use their ace monsters, okay? In this game, it's way more likely, like... Yes, they will get to the point where they'll summon their ace cards. Like, when String summons Slifer... And, um, you know, Keith summoned the Barrel Dragon. I think we won. Yes! Oh my god, that was close. That was a close one there. We barely won, but it's a good thing we're in America, or we would have. If, 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 if I was a Canadian, if I was Briggs playing this right now, I would have lost so hard. Oh my god. Americans get a instant 2,000 attack point bonus when they, you know, duel a Canadian. Holy shit, we won Barrel Dragon? That's awesome. I think I actually had this in my bit deck back when I first played this game. Alright, well, um, I think because we defeated an American like Bandit Keith, we deserve a nice cold one. Yeah, let's, let's get some cold one up in here. Oh yeah, that's nice right there. Oh uh, yeah, he also gave us like $20,000. Highest GDP in the world! Actually, I don't know if that's fucking true. Do we have the highest GDP in the world? I feel like we do. My friend Chris would probably know. I should just text my friend. It's just like, hey, I'm doing a Yu-Gi-Oh! live stream right now. Anyway, does the US have the highest GDP? See, my friend Warren is my, like, chemistry and physics friend that is, like, an engineer and shit. My political friend that knows more about economics and politics is my friend Chris. We all need friends that are expert experts in various things. And then I'm the anime guy and the history guy. Okay, there you go. Everybody needs something, okay? Okay. So, yeah. You think you're good, huh? Well, if we were fighting in my home state of California, we would not be... I would have not have lost. You must be able to stand in the way of my vengeance. Okay, so I get to ask, where are my friends, or who is Merrick Blishtar? I should probably ask where my friends are. Are you a friend of Wheeler's? Ha! <laughs> then you should go tell Yugi this. Defying Master Merrick Ishtar is a waste of time. Pegasus is nothing compared to Master Ishtar. Ha 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 ha! Be prepared to fall. In America. 
By the way, I don't want to hear any crap from you, Keith. You know, d don't tell Yugi anything. I'm the main character here. I guess I could duel these guys. Why not? These guys are probably going to do the basic fiend strategy, in which case, then, yeah, yeah, we're, we have no problem. Uh, actually, there is a slight problem. I don't have any cards that can fight against that. This is going to be one of those things where I, I fight a boss and I win, but that I immediately get one-shotted by somebody else and I forgot to save, isn't it? It's going to be one of that bullshit. Okay, maybe not. Uh, should I waste Raigeki? Yeah, I guess I kind of have to. He's going to start getting board presents if I don't. Wretched ghost hidden in the attic. Basically, Karibo's dad. No, not Karibo's dad! God, I need to draw a light monster. That is not great. But it's good enough. All right, we're all right. I think we'll be okay. Um... Yeah. There we go. Finally caught one of these live. Yeah. I have to ask anybody that's, like, just a casual viewer of my channel. Like, every couple of days you see me doing a Sacred Cards Let's Play, and you're just like, my god, has he not finished that game yet? <laughs> He's been playing it. He's done, like, five part fours. <laughs> this must be a really long game. <laughs> yeah. I think we're finally doing it. It's been... I don't want to jinx it, because we're 16 minutes in. We haven't dropped a single frame. This might be it, guys. This might be it. I say that every time, and then we fail, but this might be it. If, if, if we don't if we don't crash, I'm going to the end. I don't care. I don't know when I'm ever going to get this opportunity again. We're going, all right? I don't care if I'm here the next five hours. We are going to finish this fucking game if we can finish this fucking game, all right? I got other Yu-Gi-Oh games to move on to. There's a game where we play as, like, Lancasters and Yorkists in, in England in the freaking 1500s. There's another game where we get sucked into a game world that's like a, you know, like, like Yu-Gi-Oh, but not really. There's another one where we play with dice. There's another one where we play with capsules. I mean, there's a lot of shit to cover here. All right? And then there's one where we're at a school. And it's and then there's one where we're on motorcycles. And then there's one where we're in the future. And then there's one, one, one where we're, like, even further into the future. And then there's one where we're, like, you know, in a virtual world. And I don't know anything about Sevens. I don't know the whole point of Sevens. I haven't seen a single episode of that. But Vrains was cool. Ooh, Fire Reaper. A Skeletal Grim Reaper. That's kind of redundant redundant, right? A Skeletal Grim Reaper. That's, like, a flesh-covered human, you know? A skeletal Grim Reaper that is armed with fiery arrows. Its arrow can directly inflict 50 life points of damage. Holy shit. Konami, you gotta calm down. 50 life points? How is anybody supposed to survive that? All right, I'm gonna save here. Save, save state. I've been waiting for you. The ghouls shall live forever. <laughs> I'm Butthead. <laughs> Fire! Anybody watching the new Beavis and Butthead? I've only seen one episode, but it looks pretty good. That's one of those things that was really popular. Like, that was right before my time. You know what I mean? Because that came out in... Uh, oh, I could summon Dark Sage. Uh, not right now, but I can later. Uh, but, you know, that was like early 90s shit. Like, mid 90s. That was like right when I was born. Just like Power Rangers. Power Rangers came out when I was a little kid. And, uh, I didn't really get into it until a little later. Yeah, right before my time. Yeah, I was born in 93. I saw some Daria, though. Daria's actually... They could honestly bring Daria back today, and it would fit in very well, I think, with the modern society. Um, yeah. Put them to sleep. Shit! Shit! Oh, 10 attack points higher. 10 higher. Oh, yeah, Shining Angel. You're in for it now. Get wrecked. Anybody watch the last episode of One Piece D&D? That was pretty fun. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that was great. The biblically accurate angel. All right, uh, if I want to summon Dark Sage, I don't know if I'll be able to summon it this time. I might just, you know, duel till I win. Because if I want to summon Dark Sage, I'm going to need... Oh, this is actually going to power down Shining Angel even more. Oh my god, but it doesn't matter. I still win. <laughs> the attribute thing was something they wanted to do with Yu-Gi-Oh! at the beginning, and it just never really panned out. Can you imagine if the game went that way, though? Alright, I think I can... Yeah. Time wizard! Time magic! 
Torrential Tribute. Be destroyed. Um. They have 5,156. Uh, I can't win on this turn. Can I? Actually, don't know. I already played Legacy of the Duelist uh, years ago. It, it, the Let's Plays are on the channel. The one for the PlayStation 4, right? Yeah, I played that actually years ago, yeah. Oh, good. He went for the, the Necrolancer. All right. Yeah, we could do this. I Tribute Summon for Dark Magician. And then I activate Time... I can't activate Time Magic unless it's... Oh, my God. That's so fucking stupid. Whatever. Just whatever. Okay. <laughs> You can't activate a monster's effect until, like, you have to play it and activate the effect at the same time. It's a mandatory effect, I guess. That boss baby joke. Dude, that was so... I told that boss baby joke, and I'm telling you what, Spooky was on the ground in stitches for, like, five minutes after. And I didn't even think it was that funny of a joke. And then we start the episode, and it's like, well, we have to tell the joke again. Nobody heard it. And it's like, okay... Oh, the boss baby joke was epic, yeah. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, um, so in that episode of One Piece D&D, uh, like, William was, like, going down the list of the ranks of, like, you know, if, you know, what's the, what's the hierarchy of being a, um, oh, shit, that's not good. Like, what's the hierarchy in the crew? Like, if William were to die, who would become the captain? And it, like, it's like the presidential cabinet, it goes all the way down. Um, so... What it was for me was it goes William, Duros, uh, Verona, Ragnar, then Pearl, then Jimmy. Jimmy's pretty high. Then little Ricky, because he's good with money. Uh, then Lissa, then Doxy, then Gravy. Louie's at the bottom. And then we go Cyril and then Louie. There you go. There's the, the Devil's Luck Pirates rankings for you. I might die here. And I saved before the last guy, but not this guy. Shit. Well, we're gonna have to top deck something good. That's all I can say. All right, here we go. Oh, yes! Oh my god, I think this game seriously has like a top deck mechanic programmed into it. Because I can't think of any other, like the, the twists of fate that I have had here are insane. Morphine, come on out! Oh my god. It's like, what are the odds? Oh, he tribute set that. That's weird. I'm gonna attack it. Ah, ha, Saber Slasher. Heart of the cards. Trust our fates in the heart of the cards. No matter what, we'll let the games begin. No matter what, we'll let the best man win. No matter what, we're in this together. No matter what, we'll be friends forever. No matter what, let the games begin. All right. Well, yeah, I just flash back to 2002 really quick there. Um, I'm actually re-watching. They have the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh! on Netflix. I've been re-watching that last couple of days. Actually, I was watching it today. I watched uh, Face Off yesterday when Yu-Gi dueled Kaiba. And then I watched um, watch a Champion vs. Creator when Kaiba duels against uh, Pegasus. Which, by the way, I want to bring up something with Pegasus, okay? Pegasus is a cheating bastard, but so is, like, everybody else in Duelist Kingdom. I want to bring up the fact that Bandit Keith was, uh, like, ma like, he was like, oh, Bandit Keith's a cheater. He was hiding cards in his, in his sleeves. Whereas you have fucking Pegasus that can read minds over here. And you have Yugi that literally has the most broken ability ever for allowing him to warp reality and draw whatever card he wants at the worst critical time, you know, like, and then, oh yeah, you're gonna shit on Bandit Keith because he was cheating. Okay, guys. Like, 90% of the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime is people cheating. The only people that don't cheat are, are Joey and Taya. And Taya, you know what's funny? Taya has, like, a 100% dueling record. Like, she's dueled Joey in episode two, and she won. She dueled Mai after, after Yugi dueled against Kaiba and she won. She dueled, uh, Crumb in the Virtual World arc and she won. Like, <laughs> Taya has like a 100% victory record. Joey cheats. You give me one time Joey Wheeler cheated. No way, man. Joey never cheats. Peg a sus. That's a cute one. That's cute. 
All right, I beat all the ghouls in the park. Now does something cool happen? I gotta go save. Joey was too stupid to cheat. He didn't understand how the fucking game worked. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right. Okay, now I feel like some... Okay, now Bandit Keith told me to tell Yugi, so I should probably go down here to the card shop and... Yep, there's... Okay, there we are. Oh, there's Tristan. Hey, Yugi! Williams! I got a good lead! Oh, it's my! Joey Wheeler was kidnapped. I heard from Tristan. I'm on it. What was he doing? My, do you know anything? I know everything, Yugi. No, I don't know Wheeler's whereabouts now, but Sekto Kaiba should know exactly where Wheeler is. All dual discs have a transponders built in it. So Kaiba was tracking us. Long before everybody had cell phones in their pocket, Kaiba Corp was tracking us with dual disc technology. The bastard. I am morally outraged by this. <laughs> Next thing you know, they'll be implanting tracking chips in our vaccines. Yeah, Williams, let's go. All right, I guess we're gonna go ask Kaiba. So this is the part in the, this is usually the part in the anime where, um, oh, 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 cool, cool. Awesome, Yugi joined our party, guys. <laughs> All right, what, um, if this was a JRPG, what, uh, what class would Yugi be? Uh, fighter, rogue, cleric, you know, or healer, tank, you know, what, what, what would Yugi be in a, um, in a JRPG? Compare Yugi to a Final Fantasy or a Persona character. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're gonna go see Kaiba. I'm gonna go save first, Yugi. Hey, Yugi, you wanna come check out my house? Check out my bedroom, Yugi. I got all my all my Gundams over here, and this is my TV. Is that a flat-screen television? Wow, this was like in 2002 this game came out. When was the first flat-screen television? That looks like a flat-screen, holy shit. My friends actually, uh, they were, my friends are about to have a baby. Actually, pretty soon. The baby's due in just a few weeks. Uh, it's one of my friends, like, uh, uh, it's my friend's first kid, actually. And, um, they were cleaning out a room for the nursery, and so they had a bunch of extra shit in the room, and so they gave me a, a bed, and they also get, because I have an extra bed for my guest room, and they also had, like, some TVs in there, like, hey, Matt, do you want these TVs? And I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll take some TVs. I could figure out something to use them for. And so... Uh, one TV was like a regular flat screen, but then there was one that um, my friend, uh, my friend's wife, uh, who's having the baby, she's like, oh, this was like my first flat screen television I ever had back in like 2000 and like, you know, five or whatever. And it was like, it was a flat screen, but it was super heavy. Like it weighs like fucking 10 pounds or more than that. It weighs like 15 pounds in a flat screen. It like, it doesn't look as heavy as it does, but holy shit. All right. Erg. How could we let the ghouls drive us out? Actually, I defeated all of them, so you could go back. Regular Yugi is a support role like a cleric. Yami Yugi is the black mage. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I'm devastated. All right, let's go see Kaiba. Hey, Rex, you want to join our party? Hey, what's up? Joey Wheeler was abducted. Are you serious? Those ghouls, nothing too dirty for them. <laughs> That's not radical, bro. <laughs> bro. All right. I guess this is the right place to go, because Yugi's not going with us. Oh, shit. Oh, now he's back with us. All right, I guess we're supposed to talk to Roland. You again? What do you want? Your friends were abducted by the ghouls. That that makes no sense. Mr. Kaiba did seem to be concerned about them. He considered the ghouls to be a nuisance, but I can't reveal his whereabouts to you. Mr. Mokuba Kaiba, however, should know. Oh, okay, something, something chimed. All right, so, oh, great. Now we have to go find Mokuba, who's probably already kidnapped. Oh, my God. Now where's Mokuba at? I know that there's supposed to be... At, Kaiba's supposed to be at the art museum at some point, so I'm going there. Is this the time we finally get to go see the art museum? I want to admire the works of Vincent Van Gogh. I actually have a Vincent Van Gogh hanging above my bed. It's uh, Starry Nights, my favorite uh, piece by him. Ah, uh, nope. Damn it! I need to go to the game center. Okay, thank you. Game Usenta. Oh, shit. Oh, this is where... The oh, this is where the double duel takes place. Oh, but it's not Kaiba and Yugi. It's Yugi and me. The real main characters. I love how everybody just gets knocked down a ladder on the main character chart, where I'm the main character now. Williams is the main character in the game. So now Yugi becomes the Kaiba... Kaiba becomes the Joey. Joey becomes, like, the Tristan. You know what I mean? Like, everybody gets knocked down the ladder a rung. 
I love that. Nah, you're thinking of Vincent Van Gogh. Holy shit, Umbra looks terrifying. Come with us! He looks like the goddamn devil. These guys look way more intimidating than they ever did in the anime. Alright, this is the double trouble duel, guys. It's alright, I just watched the episode where they dueled against Para and Docs. I'm ready for this. Yugi Moto, who are you? They're Yugi and Williams. You owe an apology to our fellow ghouls. Brats like them, we can deal with them. You two, you duel with us now. Cool. I always like the Loomis and Umbra duel because they used all the mask cards. Oh shit, here we go. We're just we're just cutting right to this. All right, shit. All right. Good thing I saved. It doesn't matter who. Choose. Oh. Uh. All right. I'm, I'm assuming, depending on which one I'll duel. Okay, I want to assume Loomis means light, so he's going to use light monsters, and Umbra is dark, so he's going to use dark monsters. Light is beaten by dark, and dark is beaten by dream. I'd say it's a better shot to duel Umbra, because he might have the fiends and the dark monsters, and I'm more equipped to deal with him. Coo, 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 coo. I'll make you rue the moment you chose me. Oh, rue. I will rue a moment. All right, well, bring it on, son of a bitch. Let's do this. I think they have the same deck. So, okay. So it was one of those decisions in a JRPG that mean nothing. This is a Yu-Gi-Oh JRPG. Holy shit. All right. Will you go left or right and the paths just go back to the same thing? It's like playing Final Fantasy 13 all over again. <laughs> all right. I don't have anything good yet. Let's see what he's got. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's got Eldeen! What the fuck? Eldeen? I've never heard of that. Oh, he does have dark monsters. Okay, so we need dream monsters. Eldeen, a young magician who wields a staff bearing a blue gemstone. She attacks with a variety of spells with her staff. I'm gonna write her down. I might put her in a D and D's campaign at some point. I like her. I like her vibe. I like the, the 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 hair tiara thing, the blue hair and the tiara and the little water staff. I'm I'm gonna yeah. I'll, 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 I'll Eldeen blue wizard. <laughs> I'll, I'll incorporate that into my campaign at some point. Okay. Uh pfft, shit, man. I don't know. Ow! Ow, another Eldeen! Alright, we got a top deck here. Oh my god, I think this is the first time we're gonna lose. They're all dark monsters. Okay. I think I just lost. Yep. Uh, well, maybe not. Oh, I got one more turn. Alright, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. Top deck time. Uh, no. I've lost. Well, hold on. Skalengal effect. Raigeki. Nope. I lost. I lost this one. No! I did rue the day! Why did I challenge Umbra? Why did I manage to. Okay, that didn't work out. Oh, I lost my blue eyes for Anti. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna reset. Soft reset. Soft reset, guys. <laughs> I'm American. All right, there we go. <laughs> We're back. All right. Um, I'm assuming Loomis, by that logic, is then going to use light cards. Then light is beaten by... Oh, my God. We're going to have to restructure our whole goddamn deck for this. All right, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to I'm gonna skip through this shit. Speed up function. Oh, it doesn't actually give you a chance to... Hold on. I am going to... I'm gonna save right here, though. Let's fight. Let's try dueling Loomis. I don't know. Ha ah, ha! So you're to be my opponent. Don't turn and tail and run, brat. All right. See so you duel Loomis. See what we get from him. No, he's using fiends. Aha! That's the secret. All right. To everybody that told me to duel Umbra. Oh yeah, I guess I just fell through the skylight and got sent into the shadow realm. Yeah, he's using fiends. Yeah, this is. Yeah, there we go. Now we got his clock. We got his number now. Yep, now nah, Lumas was the way to go. Everybody that told me to duel Umbra, you suck. 
I'm just kidding. You're awesome. I don't know. I sh maybe I shouldn't have sacrificed for Sword Arm and Dragon. He might have cards there. Oh, fuck. That was a shitty move. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I should have stayed with the light. Okay, I got lucky. All right, don't 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 sacrifice this. Keep the Skalingle. I'm sorry. I thought it was the same. Well, you thought wrong. I'm just kidding. Everyone's everyone's okay. I mean, these guys, you see, there's a little bit of a difficulty curve with these guys. One who hunts... What? One who hunts what? Heads? One who hunts souls. Souls, I see. I see. Well, you can't have my soul. We are ghouls. Woo. I've always liked the aesthetic of the rare hunters, though. Like, the cloaks they wear and everything. Like, it looked pretty alright. It looked pretty cool. The only problem with this is I can't... I'm actually not causing any damage to his life points, but... Oh, shit, I should have... Okay, I'm gonna set that. Alright. I can keep him... I can keep him down, but if he plays something like Raigeki or something... Uh, you ever play Master Duel? No, I haven't played Master Duel yet. Okay, we got that. We're getting some good trap cards. We're getting some good back row going on here. Shall we summon fusion monsters without Polly? Yeah, but that's... Everybody did in Season 1. I, I don't cover that because that's something that, like... That's like the card itself was changed in Season 1. So I wouldn't really call that cheating. Cheating is like what Pegasus does, is like actively like looking at someone's uh, you know, hand. Okay, so let's talk about Pegasus for a moment, actually, now that I brought this up. Okay, so all throughout Season 1 of the anime, it's mentioned again and again that Pegasus, um, he's like impossible to defeat because he's got the Millennium Eye, right? And he can like look into your mind, he knows what cards you're going to have at all times, he knows... Um, you, you know, what every card in your deck is. He can read your fucking mind, basically, which is cheating. Of course it's cheating. However, I would argue that there's way more cheating involved than just knowing your opponent's cards. Because let's say, you know, he uses his Millennium Eye and he finds out that you have a Raigeki in your hand. He, you know, unless he has the perfect card to counter it, you're still gonna lose. It's, it's, it's like, it's honestly spun a lot of times in the anime. It's spun like, um... You know, oh no, Pegasus can see my hand, therefore he knows I have these cards and he can counter them perfectly. Well, it's like, no, he's got to be cheating in more ways than one if he can counter the cards perfectly. Like, it, it'll be like, he has a Raigeki in his hand. Hmm, Kaiba Boy has a Raigeki. I will activate Anti-Raigeki, which I just happened to play at the exact same time. It's that type of shit, you know? Uh, yeah. This is boring. Well, cash out your chips and go watch something else, man. I don't know what to tell you. Hey, guys. This is boring. I don't know. Go go for a walk. Go put a puzzle together. I'm actually putting a puzzle together right now. It's a puzzle. Oh, Monster Reborn. I think that's the first time we're seeing this. See, how could you say this isn't interesting? We're watching a guy play Monster Reborn. Oh, he brought back my monster. But he got a strong. Oh, ooh, holy shit. That was actually a big brain move he pulled just now. He played. He used Reborn the Monster to bring back my Witch's Apprentice, which powers up dark monsters. Then he played a dark monster. That's actually. I'm actually surprised the AI was smart enough to do that. Holy shit. All right. Uh, hmm. It's still anybody's game, ladies and gentlemen. Go read a book. What book are you guys reading right now? I, I finally stopped. I, I was reading the Malazan series. I was reading the, the you know, Gardens of the Moon, I think, the first one. And I just, like, I hadn't finished Mistborn yet. So I'm almost done with book two. I'm really close to getting done with book two of Mistborn, of the, um, what's it called? Uh, the Well of Ascension. And then I have Hero of Ages. I know there's another series, the Wax and Wayne series, that comes after that. So I think I'm going to take a break from the Mistborn series. I'm going to take a break from Sanderson from a little while. And uh, might, I might go read something else. I, I'm not sure yet. Maybe finish the... But maybe I'll just go like back and forth between the Malazan series and Mistborn. I don't know. I'm reading it. You know what? You know what? Fuck it. Everyone's talking about Dune. Everyone's saying Dune is amazing. I've never saw the movie. I never read the book. Fuck it. After I'm done with the Mistborn trilogy, I'm going to go and I'm going to go read Dune. How would you rank Dune out of, out of, out of 10? I've heard nothing but good things from Dune. And it's one of those series that I always see advertised. Like, I'll walk into the bookstore. See, I I'll walk into Barnes & Noble, and I'll see a whole shelf that's, like, nothing but Dune. And I'll feel, like, intimidated. Like, 
Man, everybody watches and reads do everyone reads Dune and I haven't read it yet. Aw. Ah. Uh. Fungi of the musk. All right. Oh, sword, swords. I'm going to activate swords now. I'm not really yeah. I'm not even risking it. I haven't drawn anything. Yeah. Is he called Gilford the Lightning or Gearfried the Lightning? Ah, uh, it's Gilford the Lightning, I think. Hold on, I gotta ban somebody really quick. There we go. Alright, what do we got here? Uh... Man, I have not drawn anything good here. Dune is a bit of a trip. It is worth reading, but it takes a few reads to get it. Oh, it's one of those. It's one of those. I could summon... You know what? I'm not even going to risk it. I'm summoning uh, I'm summoning the Dark Magician. Thoughts on playing Exodia? Uh, I might play Exodia at some point in this game. Actually, I would like to see what Exodia does when you do draw it. Oh, Revival Jam. Sweet. Revival Jam in attack mode. Mirio versus Rukia, who has the better peach. I love that last chapter. Holy shit. It reminded me of that scene at the end of Naruto when Naruto fights against Kaguya and uses the reverse harem jutsu on her, which is such like a stupid idea, but it's so stupid it actually worked. All right, here we go. Yeah, yeah, life points in this game get so weird. Oh shit, we get Masked Beast Descartius. Which is, see, this card is, no, actually, no, this card is a regular monster. It's an effect monster in the game. It's a normal monster here. Then there's the regular masked beast, which is um, a ritual monster, actually. Urk, I am the ultimate assassin, but, yeah, but what? What do you think of us now? You, you tell him, Yugi, let's beat the shit out of them. Come on, Yugi. Master Merrick Ishtar, please forgive us. Oh, oh shit, it's Merrick again. So strong through the eyes of this ghoul. I've watched you. Now I know how you've made your decks. What happened? Did his personality change? No, Yugi, he's being brainwashed. Get with the freaking get get with the chapter here. Get with the get with the program. I am Marek Blishta. Like you, I own a Millennium Item. My Millennium Rod brainwashes those it touches. It makes them my faithful servants. The fates of your friends are in my hands. My next puppet show should be quite amusing. Ha 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 ha! I'm just talking like I'm basically just using the man dark voice. Ha 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 ha! I'm Merrick Ishtar. Ha 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 ha! All right. I don't even know what I I don't even know what I selected, but I guess we're going. Oh shit! I was waiting for the glass to shatter. <laughs> I was waiting for the oh shit! I love how they just die. <laughs> I love the falling down death animation. They <laughs> that shit never gets old. Well, I guess we'll just leave them up here to be sunburnt. That is like, like leave these bodies on the top of this building, like exposed to the elements. Vultures start picking at them. <laughs> Can we take their decks? Yeah. Oh look, oh my, oh my god! <laughs> okay, okay, alright, that's enough of that. Let's, let's, uh, oh there's Mokuba! Don't expect me to thank you! Oh, okay, you, I, we just saved you for being kidnapped and killed, but alright, sure. Oh, that's okay Mokuba, there's something we wanted to ask you. Where's your bro at? Big brother? He's at the art museum. Uh, I can't let those creeps go unpunished. Maybe we should be at the art gallery. Yeah, here it is. We're finally going to the fucking art museum. That's what Yu-Gi-Oh's all about, ladies and gentlemen. Going to see fine art. I have to go save first, though. Is Mokuba a Sundere? I, I think you could probably make that. You can make that argument. Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh... Alright. Okay, I'm so excited. We Are you excited, dog? 
Do you want to duel me? No, we still can't duel the dog. All right, we're heading to the art museum. What do you think, Yugi? Can I talk to Yugi? Williams! All right, here we go. Here we go. Fine art. <gasps> what brings you sort here? The ghouls abducted Joey Wheeler and a friend. Please, can you tell? I love how Joey, like, Tay is not even, like, she's just a friend. We need your help. I could care less about a dreg like him. But the ghouls, they are irritants. They're filthy sneaks with no respect for cards. I've been considering sanctioning them myself. Yugi, I'm not uh, sanctioning them what? You're going to issue, like, you, you are now officially banned from the Kaiba Corp Battle City Tournament. The ghouls cannot be left unchecked. Wait here. I'll run a search on our computers. Dat, 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 dat. Compu oh, computer music! Disc transponder at area F, sector 5362. Wheeler is in the vicinity of the pier. What? You couldn't have just told the computer to tell you the pier? You know, it's like, sector 56329er! <laughs> Seto, thank you. Hm, no need for thanks. Deal with the trash. Okay. Can, can I duel you now? Wheeler is in the vicinity of the pier. Deal with the trash. Aw, oh, I wanted to duel you. Can we go back? Up, oh, Kaiba left. Shit. I still can't get into the damn art museum! Uh, it's pretty sad. It's a bit sad that I can't pay attention to Super Chats. Uh, well, I'm playing a game, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just... I, I, I want to get this done because this has been... I've been working on this for two weeks now. We've had a lot of internet problems with it, so yeah. What game station you are playing this on? Uh, it's it's Game Boy Advance game, but I'm playing it on um, uh, VBA, which is a Virtual Boy Advanced emulator. All right, here we go. <gasps> Another Bandit Keith! You're finally here. You defeated my clone in America, but now you can't lose this clone in America. Oh my god, we have to duel against all of them at once? This is like horde battles, but it's dueling. Shit, all right. All right, here we go. Okay, here we are. Uh, not a great opening hand. I need to upgrade my deck, I think. It's uh, Ryukishin powered, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, I love the attack points in this. Okay, um... Well, Mask of Darkness gets powered up, but he can't really do much. Okay. Alright, Patrol Robo. I can deal with that. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. Good, good, good. Alright. Uh-huh. Hmm. This is gonna be interesting. Bye-bye! All right. Uh, okay, this might not be enough. Infinite dismissal, whatever. I should have kept a uh, bolt escar go in defense mode. Oh shit. Oh, it still wasn't strong enough. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm actually gonna switch bolt escar go into defense mode. Ah oh, shit. Stop defense. Man, the rest of this game is just we dueling uh, us dueling um, Bandit Keith. All right, let's find out what it is. Oh my god. He just spams the... T now, see, this is him cheating. This is definitely him cheating. Just spams, like, three infinite dismissals. Okay, finally! Jeez! This makes me want to watch Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged again. I could probably go for a rewatch of Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. It's been a while. Some of the older episodes, though, I mean, it's pretty bad. Oh, what I was talking about last time before the stream died was, uh... Kaiser Neko and Lanny Pator are, uh, doing commentary tracks for every episode of Dragon Ball Z Abridged over on the Four Star Bento channel. So they're up to episode 7 right now. I've been watching them pretty pretty constantly. Um, it's pretty cool just to go, for one part, going back and watching those early episodes, but listening to, like, Kaiser talk about how he edited them and Lanny talking about, like, the voices and the stuff they do. And go check it out, definitely. Oh, yeah, we got Zara the Mant! And it is a ritual monster. I always love how Zara was always talked about as, like, oh, shit, he's a divine! See, that's the thing. They always set up Zara like he's one of the strongest goddamn monsters in the game. And it's like, he's a 2800 attack point monster. I mean, he's not bad, but it's like, you got a ritual summon him. Like, give me a blue eyes white dragon any day of the week. You know what I mean? Mm. All right. No! Mal Malik Blishtar! Ha ha ha! You are to be commended for defeating Keith! Your colleagues are here waiting for you. Okay. <laughs> it never gets old. I just... 
the idea of their sprites just falling down like that. Face for the fact it's face first. So I'm picturing they're just standing there and then just they just face plant on the ground, like smash their nose into the pavement. Oh my god. Hold on, let me save. All right. Uh, the pier. Uh, I feel like something important is going to happen here, but not yet. What's this say? Out. Outsize. Huh. <gasps> Joey! Taya! I mean, Joey and nondescript friend. Who are you? Oh, shit! Joey's evil now! And he also has a jacket, and he's cool as shit! It's good for you to come. Actually, I love the uh, the dub effect where they added the voiceover effect, like Merrick and Joey's voices like mixing together. I love that type of shit, like that double voice kind of sound effect. I love it. Good for you to come. I've waited for you, Yugi. Ha 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 ha. Duel with me, Yugi. Oh yeah. So how are they gonna handle this? Because the loser of this duel literally gets chained to an anchor and gets sent to the bottom of the ocean. One of the things they actually did not change in the dub, which is funny. Like, whoever... We're going to chain ourselves to this magical Shadow Realm anchor, and whoever loses gets dragged down into the Shadow Realm. No, they, they literally kept the anchor shit in, in the anime, which in the dub, which I was actually surprised by. There was really no way around it. Like, how could they have gotten around that? Like, um... So in this duel, we're going to be uh, chained to this giant styrofoam anchor <laughs> for, for dramatic effect. Oh no, Joey, why? The Family Guy style faceplant, yeah. So how is this going to work? Is Yugi going to duel Joey first and then lose and then die and then we'll do duel Joey after? Oh shit, Tay is also possessed. She has the Byaku gone though, so that's pretty that's pretty nifty. A triagram, 64 palms. Williams, Yugi, you go to your graves here. The loser sinks into the sea beyond bond by chains, weighted by an anchor. The ultimate duel monster, the anchor. Taya Gardner will do as my bidding if you refuse, and if I will, she will take a capsule of poison. Oh my god! Was this in the original? I don't remember the whole suicide capsule thing. What the fuck? That's beyond contempt. Yeah, it kinda is. Joey, wake up! Snap out of it, Joey! Oh my god, so... Oh my god! Oh shit, so Yugi just died! I can't win! <laughs> I can't defeat my own friend like this! I just can't! Then sink beneath the waves. WHAT THE FUCK IS HAPPENING?! <laughs> it gives us the option! Alright, well, I guess we are the main characters now! Holy shit! I can't believe that! Alright, guys, uh... Are we saving Yugi or not? Are we diving in to save Yugi or aren't we? Hmm. Let's stay put. Haha! <laughs> Rot among the kelp! <laughs> I guess Yugi's dead now! Yes. Oh no, Yugi, why? Okay, so it's one of these. Okay, so it's a decision, non-decision. I got it. All right, well, all right, we'll save him. I don't know how we're going to save him. The anchor didn't even drop. I don't know how the hell. Yugi was just like, I can't stand this, and then just jumped into the water. Persistent to the bitter end. So be it. Williams, it's your turn. But this time, there is no one to save you. I mean, Yugi's right there, so if I dive in, he'll probably save me. All right, we got Sword of Revealing Light on our first turn. That's not bad. Actually, that's great. I'm going to activate it. All right, Sword of Revealing Light activated. All right, good. All right. No, I did, yeah, it's just shirt. All right, here we go. I should be able to get um, 
Sparks, who gives a shit? Oh, no. Oh, no, he activated Sparks, guys. We're, we're fucked. Um, all right, let's see what he's playing with here. Oh, Rock Ogre. Oh, my God, he's still using Joey's weak-ass cards. God, in the anime, it's like Joey was using, like, a better deck because, you know, his regular deck. Oh, my God, this is Joey's deck. Holy shit. Merrick, I think you forgot to swap it out. Um, Hinotama. Oh, my God. Actually, that's weaker than in the original game. The original game takes off, uh... The original game, Hinotama's 500 life points. This is only a Battle Warrior! Are you kidding me? Battle Warrior? Oh my god, he's just playing a cheap-ass burn deck. That's it. My god, it's a cheap-ass burn deck he's bringing to the table. Oh my god. You cannot stop our evil powers, Williams. I have a bunch of ukazes and sparks. You're done. My god, this is like... I thought this was going to be like a boss battle like it was in the fucking anime. Holy crap. Alright, didn't even summon something that turn. You know what? Holy crap. Disappear beneath the waves, Joey. Wow, that was easy. That was... Wow. I got 40,000 dominoes, though. And a red eyes black dragon. Holy shit. Holy graphical artwork, Batman. That looks badass. Has that ever been official artwork for the Red Eyes Black Dragon? That needs to be the official artwork from now on. Holy shit, that looks epic. That looks amazing. Williams, you. But this puppet, I will dispose of it. Joey, Joey Wheeler, wake up. It's your turn. We make the finals together, all three of us, remember? Remember, Joey? We're friends! You, me, and Williams! We went to Duelist Kingdom together! Holy shit! I just realized what our character is. Our character, Williams, is like Tsukushima from Bleach. Yeah, he's got like the Book of the End to like insert himself into other people's memories. <laughs> That's what we're basically doing here. <laughs> it's futile! Mind control is ultimate! Urg. I'm back. <laughs> oh no, he's oh no, he's evil. Now he's good. Now he's good again. All right, he's back. He's good. We're all right. That be the happy music. I can't tell you how glad I am. I'm sorry. I must have been careless. He took me without notice. It's all right. Yeah, that Merrick Ishtar. What is he? He claimed to have a Millennium item. Now I don't think he claimed to have a Millennium item. I think he pretty much goddamn confirmed he had a Millennium item. And I don't understand why they would target us. Ah, uh, because you have Millennium Items, too. Mate, it's a good thing I am the main character in this. You guys have no idea what's going on. That's when the real battle begins. The finals. All right, so... I need to get one more locator card. All right, so he needs to go get a locator card. I think Yugi has all of them. Yeah, he's got all of them. Okay, so we now we'd have to wait around until Joey gets his. All right, I think... I'm going to go save. I think this is the point in the game where we could do some extra bonus shit. So, um... There's something at the art museum. There's also something at the aquarium. I think I think we could duel Bandit Keith again at the... Um, hold on. Let me pull up... Let me pull something up here. Because uh, there's like a... Yu-Gi-Oh! Sacred Cards. There was like a thing that it told me where to go. All right. Let's see here. Uh... Yeah, defeat Bandit Keith, you get Barrel Dragon. Uh, let's see. Let's try... Oh, hold on a second. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's try the pier. There's a duelist at the pier. <gasps> it's Mako Tsunami! Hey, if it isn't Williams, I love watching the sea. It calms my soul. The sea is a brutal mistress. Aren't the finals soon? Remember, you beat me. My dead dad, I won't be able to be reunited with him. Or whatever my backstory is. Can I duel him? I can't duel him. Alright. Well, okay then. That's nice. They, they put Mako here. That's a little nice little setting for the story, if nothing else. All right, let's go to um, the aquarium. Yep, there it is. 
Ah, uh, hi there, Mai. So this is Jean-Claude Magnum, who is a character from a filler episode of the Battle City arc. Uh, apparently, she... I, I, apparently, he dueled Mai before. Mai beat him. He proposed to her. She left. He's back. He wants to marry her. He duels with a ninja deck or some bullshit. Uh, yeah. We need a duel. Hey, give me a break. Williams, you've come at the perfect time. Will you do something about this stalker creep? <laughs> he claim Yeah, he kind of is, honestly. All right, here we go. Make a promise like that, not me. I have to get to the finals already. Can you duel with him? If you can beat this kid, I'll marry you. Oh, uh, do you seriously want to put that? It That's a pretty major life decision, Mai. Okay, well, all right then. I mean, it's, I don't really care much about Mai's love life. I don't really care who she marries or what, so I don't really have much of a stakes on this. Oh my god, it's been so long since we've seen a regular field. Holy shit. All right. I don't think Jean-Claude Magnum's going to be much to write home about. Let's, let's, let's find out. All right, that, that's destroyed. What monster was that that he played? That was a Karate Man, which is not super strong. I think we'll be all right. Pot agrees. Throw the duel. Help a bro out. Eh... I'll win it for Mai and her filler arc adventure. Oh shit, he's got an earth monster. You're not bad, Jean-Claude. But I have a shining angel. Hallelujah. A regular field? Nani? Oh, you're so screwed, Jean-Claude Magnum. It's Jean-Claude Magnum. Hi, I'm Jean-Claude Magnum, stars of such ninja films as The Shinobi Who Could. I could summon... Actually, I could play... Uh... Yeah, let's throw swords down. Let's see what he's got. Another one of those. He likes his M-Warriors. Jean-Claude M-Warrior. Oh my god! There we go. Swords of Revealing Light is in effect. Yep. I tribute my revival jams to summon Dark Magician! Oh my god, he had Kage Musha of the Blue Flame. To be fair, six samurais weren't a thing yet, so they didn't have the secret six samurai. They had to make do they had to make do with back ninja cards what they could. Like arm ninja and shit, and that was about it. Not a lot of ninja monsters back in the day, but we did have. Dark Sage! Uh. Alright, there we go. 50,000 dominoes! Well, I guess he is uh, an A-list actor in this world. Prisman, get the hell out of there. That is a lot of money, though. Holy shit. Ah, uh, oh, woe is me. My darling, my. I'm a huge star in Hollywood. There should be nothing that I can't get. I'll redo my deck once again and win my beloved my once and for all. You, you have fun with that, buddy. Anything up here? Nope. Nothing at the old aquarium. Hi, Shamu. All right. Let's go save. I, I can't believe we're actually, I, we might actually be able to finish the game this time. We might actually be able to do this. I'm so happy we're finally be able to finish the Let's Play. Oh my God. Tristan, I'm so happy. All right. Um. Yeah, he still hasn't given up. Dude, you need to get a life. Okay, where is the... Let's go to the art museum. Oh my god, it's a Shizu! I have awaited you, Williams. There is a matter I must discuss with you. Come with me, please. Do, do I get a Millennium item? I want, I love how I'm, I'm the main character, but I don't have any Millennium items. I don't have any God cards. I'm just a kid from the neighborhood. But it's like, ah, yes, you are Yugi's childhood friend. Come with me. I must discuss something with you. <laughs> Ooh, this is cool. First, I should tell you of the secret behind the cards. In ancient Egypt, wizards... I'm just going to skip this. because I think it's a lot of exposition. Oh, and we're dueling her. Okay, cool, great. Alright, I feel like that was a lot of exposition about shit we already knew about. Moon Envoy. 1100 attack. That is a light, and it's defeated by dark. Oh, we actually have a dark! Yeah! Yeah! There you go. Oh god, Lord Dump, yeah. 
All right. The judgment hand. The hand of judgment. Ah, yes, the hand of judgment. The judgment hand. Hand that judges. Ooh, a dream monster. We need a fiend. Uh, hold on. Activate Pottery. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. We're okay. Yeah, we're alright for right now. Shining Angel will defeat him. There we go. Yeah, Dream Clown's in this game. Unfortunately, Dream Clown doesn't actually have his effect, so we can't use Clown Control. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's not good. Uh, mmm, shit. Well, hopefully... Okay, that's not good at all. Uh, lights. Still need dark. We have a dark, but I can't summon him. Shit. To build up our defense, I guess. Crap. Mechleon! Alright. Do this. My board. Necrolancer! Do 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 Shining Friendship! I just watched the episode where uh, Mai dueled against Taya. She used that card. And it turned into like a naked fairy and like defeated her. Goddess with the third eye. I shouldn't lose to these. You're a third rate duelist with a fourth rate deck. Ah oh, shit, why did I do that? Alright, I might have to do some top deck shit here. Ah, uh, that's not good. Ah, uh, that isn't good. She's kicking our ass, guys. Um, yeah, we lost. We Shizu. My god, Forbidden Memories also, we got our asses kicked by Isis, and now we get our asses kicked by a Shizu. Crap. Lost the duel! Alright, soft reset. Reset! <laughs> America, England. Alright, here we go. Tristan, I'm so happy. Oh yeah, she can see the future, that is fair. All right, let's skip through all this shit again. I'm gonna save here, though. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, the secrets behind the cause. Three thousand year old air pharaoh. Da, da, da. I love how they actually use the uh, the three thousand year old uh, tale. I think they used five thousand in the English dub, which wasn't really accurate. Uh, because when they go back in time to ancient Egypt, um, the pyramids are already built. And there were no pyramids 5,000 years ago. Yeah, 5,000 years ago would have been the year 5,000... Would have been 3,000 BC. Yeah, there were no pyramids yet. Haha! -ha! Okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, Pot of Greed! That's why I reset so I could get the blue eyes back. Saber Slasher! Alright, here we go. Oh, shit! Alright, alright. You want to play this game? There you go. You want to play this game, Ishizu? Use dark monsters against her! Well, if I draw them, I can. Hello from Pakistan. Hello. It's all down to the luck of the draw, guys. And then she did have some dream monsters which can beat dark, so the AI is starting to get a little smarter. Alright. Throw. Monster card. She's probably gonna defeat that. Lady of Faith? Oh, it's just 500. That's a dream monster, isn't it? No, it's light. Light beats Fiend. Oh, she used the effect. Oh, yes, Revival Jam. Revival Jam! Why did I do that? I don't know. It's alright, I got Revival Jam now. I'm pretty sure I'm good. Yeah, see? She does have Dream Monsters. Uh... And not quite there yet, but next turn. Alright. How are these weak monsters beating her Dark versus Light? Because that's just the attribute system in this game. Um... 
it was gonna be like some kind of actual mechanic in the Yu-Gi-Oh card game in like the early days. It was like an idea that was thrown around. Not really sure how they would have implemented it. Like, you know, I summon I summon the blue eyes white dragon and I just play down like a 200 attack point dark monster and just kill it, you know? Oh shit, we got Cosmo Queen! Oh, and it's the ritual version of Cosmo Queen. Cosmo Mommy. The rumors are true. You are truly skilled. Perhaps you are the one to be put an end to my younger brother's mad scheme. Brother? Scheme? My younger brother. You already know of him. A man named Marek Blishta. Alright. Oh my god, this is supposed to be the tablet. This does not look like the ancient tablet. Also, I have nothing to do with this ancient prophecy. At all. You're the final test. But a duel over a god card. A music- Oh, so this is how we get obelisk. Okay, cool. Proof that you are worthy of bearing the god card. Proof that you have to weigh it to overcome the evil. The card will choose me. Unguard, Williams! I just love the fact that Kaiba's saying on guard. That's just so funny to me. Okay, so I think the way this works is if uh, you beat him, you get Obelisk the Tormentor. But if you anti a Blue Eyes White Dragon against him, you get the Obelisk, but you also get the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. So let's find out. All right, here we go. I got to draw some really good-ass cards here. And I got Revival Jam on the first turn, so that is a splendid start. Let's see if we can keep it up. Okay, not good. But not bad, not bad. We can still we can still do something with this. Um, I'm going to lay down a really weak monster. I hope he goes after the weaker one rather than... Nah, and he did not. Okay. Revival Jam! No! And Hitatsumi Giants. Alright. Uh, dark Hole this shit. Okay. Shining Angel. Oh, fuck. Kaiba's got good trap cards. Shit. Just hope he does not... Oh, man, he's gonna... Oh, man. Oh, man, Kaiba's not playing around, guys. He really wants to keep that obelisk. Holy shit. I think I lost this one. Earth and light. Light is beaten by dark. Earth is beaten by wind. We have neither. I might survive one more turn. Oh, that's the blue eye, isn't it? No, it's Kaiser Dragon. All right, that's... It's not bad. Still not great, but... It's another dark... Did I miss much? Uh, Kaiba's kicking our asses, so not really. He's not really doing anything, though. There we go. Oh, it's because I wagered a blue eyes. Now he's like, oh, I'm not, yeah. Pot of greed, come on, give me something good, man. Ah, uh, shit. We need a lot of, we need some, uh, some dark monsters here. It's a wind. Another Kaiser Dragon, I think I just lost. Oh, no, 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 I'm still going on. Gintakano Megami. What effect does she have? A goddess that can alter the course of battle. It can power up all monsters on the field with attack of 500 or less. Okay, that's not that great. I think I just lost. I'm just going to end my turn. All right. Race set. Load state. Uh, Which one was it? This one. There we go. All right. All right, let's try this again. Let's try this again. You got to rebuild your deck. Oh, it's the same cards because, yeah. All right, I don't think there's any way. See, now this is what I mean. Like, let's say you did have the ability to, like, see the future with the Millennium Necklace. If you don't have the cards to do it, then you're still fucked. All right. I'm going to use Revival Jam to defeat Grappler right out of the gate. He's going to play that dragon with... He's going to activate it. Yeah, I think we're, we're stuck in a deadlock. I don't think there's anything we can do. I was worried that the game might do that. It wasn't, like, smart enough to, like, reset everything, so that's the way it does it. It's all right. We're probably going to lose this time, too, because it'll be the same draws and everything. We won't get anything different. Widespread Ruin. Yeah, he's got that. Yeah. Kaiser Dragon. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? No, I wrote the. Oh shit, I overwrote the save. Ah oh, fuck. All right. Well, I guess I'm gonna lose my blue eyes then. Hold on. 
Yeah, I overwrote that damn save state. Shit. All right. That's okay. I'll just have to get another blue eyes white dragon. I think I actually have more than one. You done goofed. Yeah, I'm just gonna end this turn here. Okay, okay, I lost. Okay, okay. Um. All right. Um. Oh, there we go. Trunk. Yep, I lost my blue eyes. Shit. All right, that's fine. I could go. I have to go buy another blue eyes. There's only three in existence, but. I mean, it's Kaiba. I should have probably expected that. All right, I only have two more blue eyes white dragons, so try not to mess it up this time. I'll buy some of the Exodia pieces, sure. Uh, let's see. I have a shit ton of dominoes. I have 316,000 dominoes. Mystical Elf, what does she do? Oh, I can't even put it under my deck yet. Battle Ox? A Fearsome Ox. And this is a pretty good card. It's funny that they put the uh, immunity to fire because that's actually... Um... Alright. Maybe Battle Ox. Uh, Summon Skull, maybe. Summon Skull is good for one tribute. Summon Skull is really good for one tribute. Um... Ooh, Illusionist Faceless Mage. I think I actually already own one of these. No, I don't. I don't. That's not bad. Maybe I should upgrade the old deck a little bit. You know, fine-tune the old deck. Ooh, Leviathan. A gigantic sea dragon that creates massive tidal waves. It has the power to turn the field into sea. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll buy it. I'll pick up a few. Oh, Giant Soul... Uh, oh, I can't even play it. Giant Soldier has an effect, though. That's interesting. Axe Raider! Yeah, get some Axe Raiders. My Duelist level should be high enough, too, that I should be able to do some stuff. Can power down every monster on the enemy's field. That's because Mammoth Graveyard fuses with the ultimate dragon that one time. That was fun. That was a fun episode. Oh, Reaper of the Cards. Oh, man, they gave Reaper more attack. Can make one trap card disappear from the field. That might be useful. Sure. One tribute, but they also gave it more power. I'm getting a lot of effect monsters. I'm just I'm just filling up on effect monsters here. Uh, it can summon a Buku. Right, so it summons a token, basically. Sure. I have so much money at this point in the game that I can really buy pretty much anything. Uh, M Warrior. Yeah, it just powers up the other M Warriors. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to put everything in my deck. Oh, we already have. Yeah, we already have Doron. Defense. Type. Summon. Mirage Knight is busted. I don't know if Mirage Knight's in this game. It might be. Oh, Big Shield Gardener. Yeah, I figured I couldn't put that in my deck yet. 532 cost. Holy shit. That's a big shield. So they already have Big Shield Gardener, and they have Mid Shield Gardener. I want them to have, like, low shield Gardna or small shield Gardna. And yeah, it's like, it's just a shield. It barely covers anything. The Gardna brothers. All right, so these are types that are way too high that I can't put in my deck yet. Oh, change a heart? Oh, I could... Okay. I'll buy one of these. Change a heart would be good. Uh, Gamma is just the Valkyrion shit. Oh, Gear Freed. Yeah, Gear Freed's really good. I'm gonna buy a few of those. Dark Zebra's fine, too. Try to get cards that are strong. Ooh, ooh, Dunamis Dark Witch. That's one of my cards. If we actually get to the point in the finals, I actually have a Yu-Gi-Oh! episode queued up. I want to play something from it. Uh, Brain Control's even better. Some pretty good cards in here. Ooh, four-star Ladybug of Doom. Oh, it restores life points. That's weird. Uh, what's this thing? Oh, Amazon Chainmaster. Really good card in the game. It can actually steal a card from your opponent's deck, but here it kind of sucks. Uh, that's what Mai uses to get raw, actually. 
Anything good? Uh, try adding seven colored fish. I think seven colored fish is too strong, but sure. Attack. I mean, I could still add it to the deck, but... Man, yeah. Uh, let's see. No, I want type. Type. Here we go. Any good magic and spell cards I could throw in there? All right, here we go. All right, see, we got a lot of the uh, power-up monster. This is only... It doesn't actually tell you how much it powers it, but I think it's a 500 as the basic... Um, there's all the field spells. Malevolent Nuzzler does not the same thing as it does in the real game. Raigeki we already have, although I'll get another one, why not? Uh, Spellbinding Circle, sure. We don't need any of these burn cards. Oh, it actually has Dion Quito's uh, cleavage in this version. Oh my. So scandalous. Oh, D-Spell. Negates any level-reducing spell. Eh, that's kind of niche, but I'll buy one. Uh, I think I bought all of the cards. Ooh, Metal Morph. I could use Metal Morph with my Red Eyes and turn it into Red Eyes Metal Dragon. Inexperienced Spy. Look at the foe's hand. Uh, last Day of the Witch. Oh my god, yeah, that's the original artwork where a witch is about to be burned at the cross. Holy shit, we're about to be hanged. Crap. I'll buy one. Uh, I'll buy more pots of grit. I can only keep, I think, one in my deck, though. Restructor Revolution. What's this? An attack spell that directly hits the opponent's life points and inflicts... Oh, I thought that said 2,000. Oh, 200 points for every card in the opponent's hand. That's actually... That's like a secret barrel. Kinda. It's a max of 1,000. I'll buy it. Why not? Oh, Monster Reborn. I already have one. Heavy Storm. I could get a Heavy Storm, sure. Uh... I'll buy the parts of the fucking Destiny board. Why not? They're cheap as hell, and I already have all the money. Get another widespread. Oh. All right. All right. Let's see what we got here. All right. Hmm. What can we add in here? Well... This is 260, so I could add this in. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Hmm. All right. What are we taking out of our deck? I guess let's start with that. Let's get rid of this Abyss Flower. See, the problem is getting rid of the weak monsters. I'll get rid of Bolt. Uh, a lot of these one-tribute monsters aren't really doing anything for us anymore, you know what I mean? And these monsters are really low level, but we kind of have to keep some of them around because we need to use tributes and shit, like tribute fodder. Uh, Saber Slasher, whatever. Uh, this Last Warrior. You see, the higher level monsters actually don't matter as much. Okay. Uh, let's throw in a seven-colored fish. Um, Zara the Mance. Summon Skull. Can we summon Skull? Oh, we're still good. Oh, that barely puts us... That's not gonna... That's not gonna be able... That's gonna put us over the limit, definitely. Uh, Doll of Demise. Oh, that's five stars. Uh, Battle Ox. 233. That'll, nah. Mm, Harpy Lady is not... Bad. Crass Clown. Uh, who's the highest cost in our deck? Seven Colored Fish. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Hold on. That's not ranked right. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry. Bear with me a second. I changed the... Um, I changed the key mappings on this controller. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Okay. 
Okay, so these are the highest costed cards in our deck. Let's get rid of Sword Arm. He summons a token, so try to put him in there. Uh, let's see, Worm Drake, 183. I mean, we could make it up for a lot of, um... That's weird. Hmm. Spell cards are low cost. Yeah, I'm gonna... See what I got there. I know this is the riveting part of the gameplay, but, you know. Alright, let's see. What does Spellbinding Circle do? There's the points of all opposing monsters. Okay, move to deck. Uh, Metal Morph. Crush card. I think we're at the point in the game where Crush card might actually work. Oh, but wait. Oh, we don't even have to equip it to... We don't even have to equip this to a lower-level Dark Monster. We could just throw it out. We could just throw out Crush Card. There's no requirement. Fuck. Okay, give me both. Shadow Spell's pretty good. Its, co it's cost is kind of high, though. Acid Trapple's only 10. We'll do that. Uh, Brain Control is 200. We're not throwing that in our deck. That Change of Heart's too high, too. Uh... Yeah, sh eh, not actually about that. Uh, Heavy Storm, maybe. Monster Reborn is 60, which is... Mm, I don't think we're going to be able to have both. Vanishes a dark monster. Eh, I don't know about that. Let's throw Heavy Storm in. Got two more cards. We have less than 100 to work with, though. Uh, can we throw in another Raigeki? I mean, another... Yeah, we can throw another widespread in. Why not? And uh, shadow spell is too high. Uh, we can throw in metal morph. Yeah, let's throw in metal morph. Okay, there we go. All right. Um, this is a weird deck. There's a lot of spells in that one. But uh, let's let's see how it goes. Let's go back and duel Kaiba. Kaiba. Oh my god, do we have to go through all of this? Oh my god, we have to duel against both of them all over again? Holy shit. Alright, fine. Oh my god, Isis just keeps coming back. Alright, we're okay, good. We're not we're not playing around this time. We're going for it. Swords revealing light, dark hole. Seven colored fish. You wanna play, Isis? Let's go. That's what I thought. Right, Geki! BAM! Slapping you with a fish. You cannot face the fish. Feel the pain. Oh, no. oh yeah, crush card. It didn't do anything. That's okay, though. It was a dream clown. All right, one turn. What do you got? Nothing. That's what. All right. Good lord, this is going quick. Yeah, we're not playing around anymore. Oh, I got another Cosmo Queen. Oh, wait, no, I guess because I didn't... Yeah, because these are back-to-back. -back. You don't get to save in between. A scheme? All right, yeah, here's the title of Duel King that has nothing to do with me, but sure, okay. Kaiba's coming in. All right, cool, let's duel him. On guard, all right. Anti the blue eyes. All right, here we go, guys. Dueling Kaiba. Ah, uh, good, we got some magic cards here. Um, yeah, sure, let's do swords. Let's start with swords, why not? All right, he's got Mystic Horseman, 1,500 defense. Okay, that is a forest monster, which means if we had fire, we'd be good. We don't have any fire, though. But I can build up my side of the field while Swords is active. Hopefully get some cards I can 
Yeah, just lay down these things, and then hopefully I can get a card to tribute. Hopefully. Uh, uh I guess. All right, come on, hopefully. Come on, last turn on swords. I need to draw something good here. Come on. Uh, you know what? If I use Heavy Storm... Um, that's not what Heavy Storm does! Holy crap, that was a Heavy Storm! Alright, so Heavy Storm just wipes out everything. Fucking everything. Just everything on the board. Complete board wipe. It fiber jars this shit. Okay, okay. Alright. Alright. Holy shit, that's not OP at all. Glad I put it in my deck, though. Holy crap. Uh, that's heavier storm, yeah. Holy shit, alright. Well... Okay. Alright, fairy dragon. That's that's not too bad. I'm gonna probably fucking lose this. Heavy storm. Um. Uh, mm. What is that? Light. Yep. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on. Ah, oh, shit. Can I use Metal Morph on the Revival Jam? <laughs> Metal Reflect Slime. That actually is a real card, but yeah. Oh, I can. Oh, oh, okay. All right, all right. Now the tides have turned. Uh, maybe a little bit. The turn tables slightly. Come on, attack with your fucking Kaiser Drake. Yeah, there we go. All right, all right, all right. Now we're cooking. All right. All right, yeah, all right, good. Now we're... Okay. Oh, no, he has a widespread ruin, too. Son of a bitch, Kaiba. I have widespread ruin, too! <laughs> okay. I have another widespread ruin! All right, all right, all right. Cool, cool, cool. All right, Blast Juggler. All right, go. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is so stressful. Right, he's not attacking me. Okay. Uh, Nemuriko. Effect. If this can survive one turn, I can summon... I can summon... blue. I can summon uh, Dark Magician next turn. Holy shit. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Dark Magician! Go, Soggy the Dark Clown! <laughs> I love the sound effects Soggy makes in the um, in the anime. <laughs> All right. Skalangle, effect, go. Yes! Uh, not yet. I don't want to use it yet, though. All right, all right, all right. I think we're doing it. I think we're doing it. I think we're doing it, guys. Acid Trap Hole. Get fucked, Soggy. All right, cool. There we go. All right, unhappy girl. That's whatever. Yeah, just take as much damage as I can. I will summon the Metal Dark Magician. He just, like, the staff turns into a damn guitar. Uh, okay, I'm getting some good cards here. Alright, that's fine. Whatever. Because I have Crush Card! Aha! Yeah! Alright, we beat Kaiba, guys. Okay, we should be winning Obelisk and Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. 80,000 Dominoes! Woo! Rich people, am I right, rich boy? Alright. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon was obtained. Yeah, oh my god! That looks so cool! God, that version of the Blue Eyes Ultimate. Dude, I think we got I think we got screwed over on some of this card artwork. Like, I'm not saying the card artwork of Blue Eyes Ultimate isn't bad. I mean, it's pretty nice. Pretty, it's pretty awesome. But this is just cool. By the way, is there any reason why the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon has, like, an M on their forehead? Is, like, there a reason for that? I always wondered that. There's, like, an M on their foreheads. Yeah, it's also divine. Okay, do we get Obelisk then? <gasps> Woo! All right, so Obelisk, all the God cards are broken. Um, they have a zero deck cost and zero 
contribution to your deck. So you can add it to your deck, and you, you can have all three Egyptian God cards in your deck. No, it doesn't affect anything. Because these are like your boss monsters. So we, yeah, we have Obelisk the Tormentor. Hey, hi. Majin. Majin Dragon. Oh, that's what it means. Oh. Well, that's good to know from, from, okay, there you are. All right, um, deck. All right, so let's just take, let's take something like, um, like Ancient Tool out of our deck. Fine. And then Trunk. Yep. There we go. Obelisk the Tormentor. Zero cost. A monster that can wipe out all monsters on the foe's field at the same time it hits with a foe with 4,000. So... I think we might have just won the game. Now, we still have to summon it. We still have to do the three tribute shit, so that's going to be annoying, but I'm going to save here. All right. Can we can we, can we we look at the rest of the... Oh, we can! Oh, my God. I finally get to see the art. See, this should have been the... This should have been the, uh, the Egyptian tablet. This should have been the tablet. I love this little fold-out chair just hanging out in the corner here. Like, somebody just put out a little fold-out chair for their grandma. Come on, Grandma. Let's go to the art museum. I'll be right behind you, dear. Oh, I need to take... I need to sit down. Nice. Oh, look. Egypt. Yay. That looks like an actual digitized image of Egypt. Cool. Nice. All right. Yeah, I could just use Sword of Revealing Light, and then just... That's that's honestly probably going to be the game. That's going to be the game plan. All right. Uh, I'll go save at our bedroom. Uh, I guess... I don't know what to do next. Um, I guess go check out at the card shop. Let's see if Joey got six locator cards and we can finally go to the finals. Oh, we can! Oh, nice! Yo, Williams, we've been waiting for you. I finally got my six locator card. Let's check out where the finals are. Where is this? Oh, yeah, so in the anime... Okay, so I think it's different in the manga and anime the way that the locator cards actually show you the finals... Um, in the, in the anime, it's really cool where you add the locator cards onto the dual disc and it generates a holographic, like, a 3D map of the city, and it lights up where the finals are. Uh, which are coincidentally the Kaiba Corp dome, which is owned by Kaiba. So it's like, wait, you mean to tell me the hidden location of the Battle City Finals is the giant arena that Kaiba owns in his theme park? <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? But um, in the manga, I think it's different. I think in the manga, like, you literally just put... It, it's way lamer. You just literally put the locator cards together, and it just tells you where they are. Yeah. We're going to Laugh Tale. It's the stadium that's supposed to open soon. So that's where the finals are. All right, let's go. Oh, we're just getting a cutscene. We're just cutscening this. Okay, cool. Oh, here we go. Sweet. This is it. It's awfully desolate. Are you sure this is the right place? Yeah, stop it, Tristan, you nimrod. Ooh, it's Ma it's uh, Namu. Yes, hi, Namu. Ah, ha, ha. I managed to remain somehow. I think I got very, very lucky. Okay, cool. All right, so how is this going to work with the finals now that I'm involved? Because somebody's got to get cut here. Oh, probably Ishizu. Ishizu's... Okay, so we're the mysterious eighth duelist then. I'm going to go back, though. Okay, that's the stadium site. I'm just going to do one more. I want to do one more pass. I want to see if there's anything else that I'm missing here. Mako, anything for me? Namu is a Lunarian. Okay. Anything else here? Like the duelist anchor is still here. Okay, cool. I'm going to go back, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going yet. I want to just double check everything is... Like if there's nothing else going on here. Any other events? I like this guy with a pair of glasses down here. Well, you better. You pretty much lost. Our, sorry to tell you, dude. The finals are already happening, and you lost. So sorry, bro. Oh, this character's new. My beloved Seto Kaiba is going to win it all. Okay. Cool. It's like one of Kaiba's fangirls. Kaiba probably does have a lot of fangirls. You know, that's something interesting that never really came up too often in the anime. You know, Kaiba's like the rich, pretty boy. And most anime have it, like, girls are just swarming around him. That doesn't really happen too much with Kaiba in the anime. It actually happens with Duke more than it does Kaiba. And I have not seen Duke Devlin a single time in this fucking game so far. Not enough Duke. One out of ten stars. Literally unplayable. Oh, Weevil's back. 
You've defeated the ghouls, and you're in the finals. I'm going to beat you down one day for this. Don't you forget it. Yeah, sure, Weevil. I'm trying to think of anything else that happened in the anime before the finals. Like, uh, oh, there was that duel. One of my favorite duels of the entire series. Like, I'm serious. Like, this might actually be my favorite one. No, my favorite duel is Yami Bakura versus Yugi in the Battle City Finals, which that might be a parallel to this as well. But I love any duel involving Bakura because he's an evil son of a bitch. And um, I love the duel with Bakura and Bones in the cemetery in Battle City. This is where I feel most at peace. Alright, I'm happy for you, Bones. That's a really good one. Alright, I, I think we're done here. I think I'm just gonna... Yeah, there's nothing else here. I'm, I'm just gonna head to... Uh, I'm gonna head to the finals. I'm gonna save one more time since I'm here. Copyrighted Duke music. Gonna bring that sexy back. Doot, 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 doot. I can't do it. Alright. The stadium site. Here we are. The Kaiba Corp Stadium. Who would have thought this would have been the site for the Battle City Finals? I'm pretty happy with my deck right now. I got a fucking Egyptian God card in there, so I can't really complain. Yeah, there was also some filler with my dueling and X. Yeah, we already did that. We already took care of him. Yeah, we took care of him. He's all right. What took you so long, Wheeler? I was thinking... Oh, I switched my voice with Wheeler's voice for a second there. I'm not about to lose easily. So that the six duelists. Who's the remaining two? Five minutes to go. All right, so it's going to be Bakura. All right, there we go. Gasp, I just made it. Rio Bakura, I didn't know you were competing. I had a late start. It was pretty close. I slept in. Yes, that. That just leaves one more duelist, which would probably be Odeon, right? Okay. So yeah, yeah, Ishizu's. So we're taking Ishizu's place. That's That's fair. I guess we're going to duel Kaiba, then, if we're going to stay along with the logic with that. Yugi will duel Bakura. Odeon will duel Joey. Mai will duel Bakura. I mean, Mai will duel Merrick. Evil Merrick, I guess, at that point. And then I guess we'll duel Kaiba. Yeah, cool. Sure. See how they have to twist around the, uh, the plot in order to incorporate us into it? It's like I'm playing somebody's homebrew self-insert D&D campaign or some shit. <laughs> Sorry about what happened with that stalker. He's so persistent. Oh, well, he... Yeah. I, I I don't think... Oh, 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 she gave a cyber harpy. Cool, great, awesome. Did we ever cut it close? We almost missed the deadline, but we're here in the finals. This is exciting. Brooklyn excitement. All right, so we just waiting for... In three minutes, the airship will lift off. Finalists not on board will be disqualified. I wonder how they're going to handle... Because it's been a long time since I've played this game. I wonder how they're going to handle the four-way duel when we were on that. I wonder if there's going to be, like, a 40-episode a filler arc in between the finals when we get captured by Noah and shit. I guess I'm supposed to talk to everybody. Yes, he is. I managed to remain, too. I have been lucky. Let's do our best. I managed to win my way up somehow. I made it this far. I won't lose now. I talked to everybody yet? Taya. Three minutes. I don't think I talked to Tristan yet. I don't know why that would matter, but... Here it comes, Williams. The airship must be the stage. Count on Sento Kaiba for that touch. All right, I talked to everybody here. Okay. I guess I'll leave and come back. The Noah arc, it... <sighs> It had some good moments. Like, I liked Kaiba's dueling against Lecter when he was Jinzo. I liked when Yugi and Joey teamed up to fight against the Big Five. They summoned the fucking Dark Flare Knight and then the Mirage Knight. Like, that shit was really cool. I even liked Noah, because I liked I liked uh, Shinato. I liked the Guardian Shinato. I liked the Spirit Monster shit, you know? My god, it's been three minutes. He's not here. Can we just go? <laughs> All right, guys, what am I supposed to do here? I talked to everybody. Am I supposed to go somewhere else before the arc starts, before we leave? The Noah arc actually happens in Nightmare Troubadour. That's great. Talk to Kaiba. I did! I'm going to win it all in the tournament. Your cards and the title of Duel King. Yeah, that, that really... Yeah, just go up the stairs. Yeah, it, it looks like I should be able to squeeze past Roland here. 
and just get up the stairs, but I guess I can't. Oh, one minute. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I don't know what the difference there was, but I guess we had to talk to Kaiba three times. Yep, that's Odeon. Nice, uh, nice ponytail you're rocking there, Odeon. My name is Merrick Ishtar. I love gummy bears. So he's Merrick Ishtar. Yep, that's him. No, no getting around that. The airship is the finalist stage. Hurry on board. Let the finals begin. All right, here we go, guys. The Battle City Finals. Let us do this. Oh, boy. Here we are. All right. Dot, dot, dot. We're playing Duelist Bingo. The first duel. Yugi Moto versus Ryo Bakura. Huh? Me? Okay. I'm to duel Ryo. I love this duel. It is so fucking good. It's way creepier in the Japanese. But Bakura's theme in the Japanese is so better. Foo, 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 foo. You thought that I was actually your friend, Bakura, but I'm actually your friend, Bakura. Possessed by evil, Bakura! Oh my god, he needs to have some eye drops. His eyes are getting kind of red there, man. You gotta try some Visine or some shit for that. I have come for your Millennium Item, Yugi. I love how they play out the rest of the anime. It doesn't have anything to do with us. Like, we're just, I'm just sitting in the background munching on potato chips like, man, yeah, this is crazy that this shit's going on right here, right? Yeah. By the way, I just love the fact that we're dueling, like, 3,000 feet in the air on top of a fucking blimp. I, I love that. Like, that would be the shittiest way to play Yu-Gi-Oh! The cards would be blowing all over the place. You wouldn't be able to hear shit. Be freezing as crap. Love it, though. Oh, shit, it's Yami Yugi! I think it's the first time we've seen a Tem in this. I'm going to beat you and Marikishta and make the Millennium Items mine! He's gonna summon Dark Magician, isn't he? Oh, no! Wait! Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess Yugi does have Slifer at this point. I guess Yugi dueled against Strings off screen and won Slifer. Good for him. Oh, my God. When Yugi summoned Slifer against Bakura, though, that was so good. That was such a good... That was, like, Yugi's best win ever in the entire story. And I sacrifice Dark Magician Girl, Gamma the Magic Warrior, and Big Shield Godna to summon the almighty... Slifer, the Sky Dragon! Yeah, imagine slipping, not even slipping. I weigh 120 pounds. Actually, no, 130 pounds. I weigh 130 pounds. I'm like, we're like, we're like half a mile in the air. I think it's higher than that. I actually don't remember how high they were dueling. Someone look it up. He says it in the anime. Um, but like, a, a strong enough breeze would blow me off the side of the goddamn blimp. Holy shit. It's Slifer the Sky Dragon. It's a god card that can only be used by the Chosen. And mimes, apparently. Erg. Oh my god, no, Bakura, no! Alright, well, that was crazy. Next duel! Joey versus Merrick Ishtar! Alright, I'm assuming they're both gonna get knocked out like in the anime here. I guess, um... You know, this, this was a good duel, too. I really like Joey's duel. This is one of those moments where... I mean, it's... it's you Joey's duel against Merrick was more bullshit. I still think Joey should have won that. Um, but, of course, you can't have the sidekick... Wait, 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 wait. I, wait, I'm dueling Odeon? Wait, what? Oh. Okay. Wait, I, does that mean I'm gonna get struck by lightning? I don't wanna get struck by fucking lightning. Alright, I guess we're doing this. Alright, I guess I'm dueling Odeon. I'm sorry, Merrick. Are you prepared to duel? Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, here we go. You shall be judged by the will of gods. Alright, so that means Joey's gonna duel Kaiba. Which is actually a duel that does happen way later in the arc, so yeah. Why do you say that? When I spoke with his alter ego, he felt different. There was an overwhelming sense of emo from him. I don't get that feeling from this duelist. Williams! You shall fall to my gummy bear god card. All right, here we go. Uh, this is Wasteland. Okay, so how did how did Odeon duel again? He used, like... He actually introduced trap monsters in the game. He was using, like, the, uh... Yeah, he was using, like, the, uh... The Judgment of Anubis and, like, trap monsters and shit. Yeah. All right. Pot of Greed was activated. Oh, man. He's drawing cards. All right, what do we got here? Uh, we got Mino Mushi Warrior. And that's powered up because of the field bonus. 1690. Okay. Uh, Earth. Beaten by wind. Don't have any wind. Okay, Acid Trapple is going to destroy that. And he does another one, of course. 
Yeah, his name is Rashid, and uh, in the in the uh, Japanese, it's Odeon in the original in the four kids. But that was all right. Torrential tribute. All right, draw something good here. Not great. I'll get some damage in, but not much. Trap monsters with the ancient Egypt theme. Yeah. Oh yeah, like the uh, the beast of uh, Sekhmet or something. Yeah, like the giant scorpion thing. Shit. I could have summoned that last turn. That's not good. We get. Some, we can. Yeah, embodiment of a popus. I remember that one. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, now that we know what this card does. Hold on. Does it actually say a spell that totally wipes out every card on the playing field? That is a heavy-ass storm. Wipe the board! God, I don't even think there's any card in Yu-Gi-Oh! that you could just throw down that does that. Fiber Jar is a flip effect, and it basically resets the duel, but it doesn't It doesn't do that. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. I'm getting lucky with these traps. I'm top-decking these traps, but I need to get something good here, man. Oh, yes! That'll call for it. That's what the doctor ordered. All right. Oh, nice. Dark Hole doesn't do that. Dark Hole only wipes out monsters. Giant Scorpion. All right. Heavy Storm. Aha! Okay, you've been widespread ruined. You've been yellow mustarded. I think I just won. Nope, but I'm very close. I lose cards, too, in Heavy Storm, as we found out before, so that's why I make sure not to have anything. Crush card, virus! Oh, it didn't work on that. Oh, but it widespread ruin. Okay. Well, oh, I guess it was too weak. All right. Yeah, Black Rose Dragon, but you still got to go through all the bullshit of summoning Black Rose. All right, this is scary. I could win this, but I think that's a widespread, so I'm not attacking. I'll attack with this first. All right. Ah, uh, man, I should have attacked. He bluffed me. Invigoration. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck! Oh, damn it. Oh, no, it's okay. It's all right. No, 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 I won. I think I still won. I have Dark Hole, and then I have Nemiruko. Nemiruko. Yeah, there we go. All right. All right. 50,000 was obtained. I love how it says about. It doesn't give you an exact number. Mystical Beast, uh, Sir Ket. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's actually a really good card. A powerful scorpion-like being that envelops a monster on the field. Its power itself up, up. So it destroys a monster on the field and gets stronger when he does that. So that's actually pretty good. The gods have forsaken me. Master Merrick. What's with this weather? What's happening? Now, keep in mind, it's the Gay Boy Advance, so we don't have a lot of great graphics. Let's see if they can at least summon a lightning bolt. If the graphics at least had a lightning bolt. Or, or if Odeon Rashid is just going to fall down. The god is angry. He wasn't the rightful owner, and yet he used it. What, what are you guys talking about? He didn't use the god card at all. He used a bunch of weak-ass, like, earth monsters. Very astute of you, Yugi. Namu. You're Merrick Blishtar? Correct. He is but another of my loyal puppets. I had assumed this guy is to get close to you. It allowed me to brainwash your friends. Ah ha ha! Ah ha 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 ha! That's beyond dirty. Say what you will. The young, the 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 the, the long years have ra ra ragged. The young years have ragged. <laughs> God, I cannot talk for shit today. The long years have raged and cursed the world. The pain carved into my body, my very being. Could you even begin to understand? Finally, I shall obtain all the guys. Okay, Merrick, we get it. You're evil. All right, Odeon just fell. Yep, there he goes. Foo foo foo! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! ha, 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 ha. Oh my god, look at his expression. Wait, what? Oh my god, he's evil now! Let the celebrations begin. Behold, Pharaoh, a display of total destruction and terror. I will destroy everything with the god cards. Okay. How do you like that? He just lost an ally. And he's evil now. Alright. I guess my versus Merrick. Merrick Ishtar versus Joey Well, what? That's happening now? <laughs> okay. Merrick versus Joey. You know what? Joey, you got this, man. Finally, I get my crack at the guy. Merrick Ishtar, you'll get yours. I'm not going to lose that, freak. All right. 
So I guess this is basically going to be the final match here. I'm congrat I'll congratulate you on breaking my control, but I'm not the same as I was before. Okay, so I can't do it justice, but I love Evil Merrick's voice in the dub. Like, the guy does an amazing job with it, plus the, uh, the uh, voice effect over it sounds so damn cool. So I actually have a clip from the anime I'm going to play here. It's audio only. I might, I, don't, I hope I don't get copyrighted, but we'll see. I'm just going to play it enough so you can hear Merrick's voice if you haven't seen it or heard it in a while. It's such, it's such a good thing. Let me play this here. Starting things off quickly, are we? I see. Now let's see what my deck has for me. Rather us. Excellent. Now I'll summon my revival jam. In defense mode. <laughs> Is it a weird thing to say that I want to have sex with uh, Yami Merrick's voice? <laughs> like, holy shit. <laughs> I love that. Well, Joey's gonna die. <laughs> it's raw, isn't it? Oh, Joey just got rawed! Oh, man. I just realized that it's the winged dragon of raw, and Merrick uses a rod. There it is. Uarg! <laughs> Let fear overwhelm you in the land of shadows. Not Joey! Wheeler! My love interest! Yugi's like, my love interest too! <laughs> all I seek is to destroy all except myself. Fwa ha 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 ha. Oh no, Joey! Oh, we tucked him into bed. That's nice. Sad music because he lost to Merrick. Joey's soul was taken to the Shadow Realm. Okay, so let me get this straight. I, I, if, I'm, if I'm not incorrect here, the Shadow Realm is still a thing in the Japanese version. I don't think they call it the Shadow Realm, but it, it is a thing. It's like, sometimes there's Shadow Duels where you straight up die, and other times there are, like, your soul gets ripped out. And I think this is one of those, right? Yeah. They, they just don't play the Shadow Realm as much as they do in the, um, in the, in the dub. It's the World of Darkness, yeah. You just have to beat him. Oh my, poor Joey. There's nothing wrong with him physically, but he is in a total coma. The doctors are baffled and helpless. Wheeler, I can't believe this would happen to him. Cool. Alright. Penalty game! Yeah, I know there's penalty games and shit, but like... Like, if there's not a world of darkness, then how do you... Because this still happens in the Japanese version. Like, Joey gets defeated, but he does... Well, no, I know. In this version, Joey just gets struck by lightning, and then he gets back up in the, in after the duel, and he wins. And then he fights against Merrick, and then he gets his soul stolen, and then he has to, like, fight through that stupid tournament arc or whatever, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's... I remember there's a scene here. Uh, wait. I didn't want to... I didn't want to do that. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's nobody in this room. Okay, what about Odeon? Yeah, let's go see Odeon. Oh, there's Merrick. Shit. Odeon, you. I just realized they probably had Joey dueled Merrick first, so now Merrick is going to duel Yugi in the finals, in the quarterfinals, but then they're, Yugi will lose, and then it'll be up to me. That'll probably be where the game is going. Which I guess that means Kaiba's going to duel against... I'll probably have to duel Kaiba in the finals. Yeah. Unless... Unless I duel Yugi in the finals, and then I win, and then Kaiba duels Merrick and loses, which is cool, because we never actually saw Kaiba duel Merrick. Yeah, it might be something like that. Prepare for your folly. Odeon, no. This is sad. I heard that Joey Wheeler collapsed. It's Merrick Ishtar's dark power. I can't do anything to help. Why would you think you could? Okay. I will use my dark power to re- I mean, maybe. Alright, wanna go to the roof? Uh, nobody on the roof. Okay, I'll go to the first floor. Okay. Wait, what, we just landed the blimp? Okay. I need- I forgot my, uh, I forgot my cell phone. Can we go back? <laughs> Alright, land the blimp. Alright. I guess we go to, uh... Wait, hold on. Oh, maybe... Oh, it's over here. It's over here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. 
We shall now uh, announce the fourth match. Saito Kaiba versus My Valentine. That's an interesting duel we never got to see in the anime. Why not, right? Another drag. I'll show you looking down on women. Oh my. Here we go. I'm going to put the bout to Mer I'm going to put the boot to Merrick Ishtar. Hang on, Joey. Yeah, my. That's probably about how that would go. I couldn't win. I'm attending all the god cards. You know, there, these are some interesting duels, like Kaiba versus uh, Mai, Kaiba versus Merrick. It's some, some shit that we didn't get to see in the um, in the story. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, he he. Oh man, he FTK'd her with a fucking one turn blue eyes. Holy shit, that's hard to do. All right. Well, nothing left to do but go to Alcatraz. I guess I'm supposed to talk to everybody in here. I have to play Yugi next, yeah. Probably. You have to put an end to this soon. We will, Taya. Alright, so the finalists are Yugi, me, Merrick, and Kaiba. Poor Joey. Never stood a shot. Okay. Get ready. Okay, here we go. I guess... Oh no, we're being trapped by, uh, you know, Kaiba's brother. Oh, okay, it's alright. We beat him. It's fine. What are these ruins? Well, this, ladies and gentlemen, is Alcatraz. What is that tower? I was supposed to go to Alcatraz this last summer, and I got COVID when I was in California, and I couldn't go. Sucked. This island was built by my stepfather many years ago. It was once used by arms manufacturers. On this abandoned land atop the dual tower, I will win the title of dual king. My god, Kaiba's ego literally is insane. He literally makes an entire fucking tournament. Then he has this huge tower. He rigs it to explode. He's like, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna be crowned the winner on top of this giant tower. Then I'm gonna blow it the fuck up and leave. He's really debunking on him winning this. Okay, Mokuba, Roland. Everybody's... We have to, okay, we have to see everybody going into the tower. The dual tower stands amongst rubble. A fitting tomb marker for your sort. I am liking how we're breezing through this without all the bullshit filler. I, I am liking that. Welcome to Duel Tower. I am gonna save. Welcome to Duel Tower. We shall now proceed with the semi-finalists of the Battle City Tournament. Out of the four remaining duelists, only those two winning their respective matches in this tower will move on to the final duel atop the tower. You're saying tower a lot here, Roland. Now let us begin. What's the... What's the... What's the... Um... Like Kaiba's butler's name in Japanese. It's Roland in the English, but I wonder what it was in the uh, Japanese. Announcing the first semi finalist matchup Yugi Moto versus Williams. Oh shit, here we go. Let's duel fair and square, Williams. Actually, you know what? I don't feel like doing this. A excuse me, Roland, can I go home and just hang out for a little bit and then come back when I'm feeling better? Okay, okay. Ah, <sighs> ah, <sighs> that was some day. All right, I think I'm gonna take a nap. Ah, that was a good nap. I think I'm gonna go for a walk in the park. Ah, such a nice day out. Out of the way, dip-ass. <laughs> ah, look at the flowers. Ah, Isono. That's his name, Isono. Hey, Weevil, what's going on? I'm in the finals. Yeah, we're on some island way out in the middle of the Pacific. Yeah, they're actually waiting for me to go back, but, you know, I just felt like taking a break. I'm gonna sit on this park bench for a little while, feed the birds. <laughs> this this is the filler. I think I'm going to go to the aquarium next. I want to see that. I want to see Shamu again. I want to see if Takashi and his girlfriend just... Aw, oh, they left. Hey, Shamu, how are you doing today? Yay, I get the, fr I get the whole aquarium to myself. Woo! All right, anywhere else to go? You know what? I better go admire that art one last time, you know? Look at all this art. Ah, this is some nice art. Yeah. 
Man, I'm having the greatest day ever. I, I slept a full night. I walked in the park. I fed the birds. I saw Shamu. I'm, I'm admiring fine art at the museum. This is like the best day ever. Yeah, let's head to the pier. Let's see what's up at the pier. Let's go for a nice seaside stroll. Ah. This is nice. Yeah, hey Mako, what's up? Oh no, the finals are going on right now. We're, we're I'm just I know, I just I just took a day off, you know? It was just that whole day of nothing but dueling. Do you ever have a day that you just want to like eh? You know, you just want to relax. You just want to chill out, man. You don't want to do anything. Yeah, they said there's duels. There's Bandit Keith should be at the pier, but I think that was earlier. All right, anywhere else I'm going? Uh, anywhere else I want to go? Ah, oh, let's go to the arcade. Why not? Fuck it. You know, let's duel some people we never dueled before. I don't think I could duel these people anymore. I think it's. I think I'm locked out. Shit, I missed my chance. Nope, I can't duel any of these people. I don't think. Wait, oh wait, no, I'm hitting the wrong button. I'm an idiot. Oh, okay, okay, here we go. Here we go, now we're dueling. All right. Oh, shit! Oh my god, he actually has a good card. Holy crap. I wonder if the other duelists, they, like, scale with your card. 800, 800, I'm gonna have to crash. Do 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 do. Oh my God! This guy actually has some decent cards. Trap card. I love how I guess the card to the right will activate first. All right. I never even got your name. This is um. This is, uh, Larry. This is Larry the Duelist. Sorry, Larry. Sorry, Larry! Okay. Good luck at the finals. Here's my strongest card. Cyber Soldier. Alright. I mean, if this was, like, a little while ago, that would be cool. Alright, I didn't hear- I didn't- I didn't come here for your life story. Alright! Uh, that was a good day. I think I'm gonna head back home, go to bed, and then uh, I think I'll head off to the finals tomorrow morning. That seems pretty fair. All right, gonna save, take a nap. Ugh. All right, I'm back. All right, how about you, dog? Nope, nothing, all right. All right. Oh, that was a good day. Let's go finish this duel or whatever. Instant transmission. All right, Yugi, I've had a whole day of rest. I think I'm ready to duel now. Yep, let's do it. Lock in. Oh, here we go. All right, guys, here we are. We're fighting duel. Uh, we're fighting Yugi. He's got Slife for the Sky Dragon. He's got Dark Magician. He's got all that shit. We got to be careful with him, man. Here we go. Oh, sex bots are attacking. Sex robot, no! Sex robot, sex robot. I kind of miss the sex robot. It's been a while since we saw the sex robot. Holy shit, we drew obelisk on the first turn. All this other shit kind of sucks, though. Um, all right. I'm going to discard Muka Muka. Activate Pot of Greed. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I don't know. Yugi likes to use spellcasters, which are usually, like... I would, I would imagine they're mostly dark... Which we have a dream. I'm gonna throw out. I'm gonna throw out Witch's Apprentice with the spell effect. Let's see where that gets me. Okay, what is. Oh shit. He did something there. Alright, I gotta find out what this is. Oh, it's Catapult Turtle. That is one of Yugi's cards. It's water, so it's not gonna do anything here. But if we could summon Obelisk. We could summon Obelisk, dude. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, for right now, let's go with that. Oh, Yugi, you didn't set any traps? 
You don't have any magical hats or mirror forces back there? I'm disappointed in you, Yugi. I love this music, though. It's kind of intense. Dun, 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 dun. dun, 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 dun. Necrolancer got powered up. Or did he? Yeah, 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 he did. Widespread Ruin! Celtic Guardian? Oh, my God. Um, did we just beat Yugi? <laughs> okay, then. Um, shit. <laughs> uh, don't get Exodia. I don't think I had to worry about getting Exodias. How many? Okay, Yugi gave us 70,000 dominoes. All right, and we got a dark. We got a third dark magician. That's the boring dark magician. We got the real dark magician. All right, well, we beat Yugi. You're strong enough to beat Merrick Ishtar. Take this god card. Okay, cool. We got Slifer. Nice! Yay! Those, this is what it's like to be a Yu-Gi-Oh! protagonist. Announcing the second match. Kaiba versus Merrick. I actually want to see how this is going to go. Not like we're going to get to see the duel, but it's cool. Let me prepare a stage worthy of us. Oh, the Solid Vision. Oh, so he's going to do the Coliseum shit. Holy crap! Oh, that's so cool! This is a duel with a god card at stake. Kaiba literally makes a giant replica of the Roman Colosseum with an entire... With, with an entire holographic crowd che uh, cheering for him. God, this man's ego. It's just... It's hilarious to an extent. It really is. It's just fascinating. Cute. Amusement for children. That's kind of how Merrick would probably respond. Merrick Ishtar, your god card might be special. But it will be fatal. It will fall to my blue eyes white dragon. Foo foo foo. Let's see you do it. But the god card will maroon you in the shadow realm. So, oh wait, is Kaiba going to get sent to the shadow realm here? Let's see what happens. Oh no, he's got all three! Oh shit! Wh what? So much for your big talk. You two shall suffer in the Shadow Realm. Fua ha 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 ha. No, Kaiba, no! All right, Kaiba's going to the Shadow Realm in this version. Holy crap. All right. All right, the final duel. Wait, is this it? Is this the final duel? We're here already. Williams versus Merrick Ishtar. Is that it? Is this the final duel? I mean, I'll save, but like, yeah. All right, well, let's put... Let's put Slifer in our deck. Uh, let's get rid of... Let's get rid of Princess of Tsurugi. Uh, let's throw in... Slifer the Sky Dragon, yeah. All right. Okay, um... I guess we duel Merrick now. All right, we made it to the final... We made it! And now all the frames drop. Now the stream crashes. I'm like, fuck this, we made it to the final duel. We're finishing this off once and for all, guys. Here we go. Are you ready to duel? Yes. Okay, here we go. The end has finally arrived. In the world of Tomb Keepers, I grew in the shadow. Oh my god, I'm not gonna listen to your boring-ass backstory. I get it. All right, let's just duel. Let's go. Is this a YouTube video or is this a duel? It's actually both. What? All right, did we get something good? Uh, yeah. Actually, we got two good things. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna wipe the... F well, hmm. What do you play? Execute... Oh, oh, Makiora. Makiora the Destructor. Okay, that's not too bad. And it doesn't have its effect in this version. Okay, uh, wait, that's a dark? Dark beats, uh... Dream beats dark. Oh, I don't have any dream. Okay, okay. Um... I kind of don't want to waste anything yet. So I'll just do this. And it's like, okay. Oh, see? Okay, now he's going to do this shit. All right. Oh, he didn't attack with it, though. He activated the effect. Legendary Fiend. The Fiend! A fiend with large black wings that is described in Legends. It has the ability to power itself up. Okay, that's it. All right. Uh, Nemuriko? Okay. Ancient Lamp. Oh, Lajin! Oh, shit! Alright, now I could probably wipe that out with Dark Hole. Monster Reborn! Holy crap! Oh, he's doing the same shit! Alright. Alright, now we're playing. Now we're playing with a full deck. Alright, not really, but, like... 
get some damage in. Okay, he didn't have any trap cards that went off. I have two crush cards. Xerion Universe. Oh. Ow. Okay, but he didn't do anything. Not yet. Don't want to waste them yet. Good. Shit. Hmm. This is actually kind of interesting. Hmm. Damn it! Activate Crush card. Okay, that actually didn't affect Xerion Universe because of the effect. Weakened him. Okay, good. There's Obelisk. See, this is why God cards aren't that great. I mean, like, in a situation like this, it doesn't matter if you have a God card, you're fucked. Alright. I'm gonna probably... I guess not. Alright, Torrential, I'm still in the game. Oh, shit! Harpy Feather Duster. Alright, I did lose. Whoa! Alright, I lost. Merrick! Oh, no, he... Okay. Oh, wait! Oh, wait, no. Fiend beats Dark, not Dark beats Fiend! Shit! I could do this. Alright, I'm still in it. Somehow, I don't know how, I'm still in it. You have too many tributes. No, I have exactly the correct amount of tributes. The Bistro Butcher. Gulp. Yes! All right, we're still not... Still, this is a battle for the ages, guys. Okay. Hasn't summoned his... Oh, thank you, God! Special power. Oh, yes! Wipe the fucking field! Yeah! All right, all right, all right. Devil's luck. All right. Yeah, I might have to take out some of my tributes if I don't win this. All right, all right, all right. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, Visor Des. I'll take it. Ah, oh, shit. Ow. Oh, shit! I, he burned me out! Ah, oh, damn! All right, all right, all right. Okay. Holy shit, he burned me out. Didn't expect that. All right. Um. Which one is the one? This one? Wait, what? Yep, this one. Okay. Um... Uh, yeah. Let's try again. See if we can get a different deck this time. I think we could have beaten him. I, I just don't think that um, we drew good that time. I'm going to wager the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon on this duel. Oh, I didn't put Slifer in my deck. Oh, well, who gives a shit? All right, this is a little better. When did I put Guilford the Lightning in my deck? When did Gilford... What? I don't remember putting these cards in my deck. Lee Sark? Magician of Faith? Oh, this is my old save! <laughs> this is my old save from like five years ago! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Okay, you can't see this on screen right now because it just isn't showing, but I have six save states. And it, it, it date stamps them. So 2022 917 is when I'm playing the game right now. The last time I played this game was 2015 917. The same fucking day. So this day, seven years ago on this day, I was playing this game and I was at this exact point in the game that I am right now. <laughs> at the exact time! Holy shit! 1655, 1656, what the fuck? I have to show you this. I have to figure out a way to show you this. Hold on. Hold on a second. Give me a moment here. Hold on a second. I'm going to try something. I'm going to try something here. Okay, hold on. I'm going to do this. All right, I'm going to open up another window. I want you to look at this. 
Look at this. Oh, you can't see it. Damn it. It's not showing on the fucking screen. That's so weird. Why aren't you showing? Damn it. Um, hold on, hold on. There has to be a way to, has to be a way to show you this. That is so weird. It doesn't show. What about this? Uh, no, that didn't work. Um, add source, desktop capture. I can't really take a snapshot of it because it's a drop-down menu. All right, let, all right, let's try this. Let's try all of them together. Okay, so this is like a double vision sort of thing. Nope, it's still not showing the drop-down. All right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta show you this. This is so fucking weird. Okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta try some here. Uh, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Let me try something here. Okay. Okay, let me try this. See if this works. Okay, that worked. All right, all right. I did a time delay and a snapshot. All right, all right. Cool, cool. All right, I got to show you this. Look at this. Look at this. So these are my saves from the game. So I've been using the first three save states for this game, okay? So save state three is the one where we're about to duel Merrick. And it was 2022, September 17th, 1655, 36 seconds. I loaded state six, 2015, 917, 1656 seconds. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> What, uh, what was I doing in 2000, September of 2015? I had just started my second year at university. I was 22 years old. Um, how many subscribers did I have back then? Hold on. I had around, I think I had around at that point. I think I had like 20 something thousand subscribers. I think I had like 25,000 back then. Yeah. Yeah. Because I hit 20K in April of 2015, so, yeah. Um, yeah, just a college student working at Dollar Tree. I guess I play, I guess one day I happened to play Sacred Cards, I guess. Holy shit, all right. I planned this since 2015. Oh, my God. All right, anyway, this is not the correct load. Don't know how the hell that's a thing. I think I might believe in fate and destiny. I think I believe in the heart of the cards now. Look at that. That's load state three. This is load state six. It's the same shit. Oh my god. Wow. Wow, I'm stuck in a time loop. I really am. Holy crap. Oh, I'm lagging a bit. All right, all right, all right. All right, let's, uh, let's duel him. Let's do it. All right, yeah, blah, 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 the darkness. Okay, cool. Great, let's do it. All right, here we go. All right, are we going to get some good cards here? Oh, no, it's the same deck! All right, I guess we're just going to have to duel him and lose, and then... Um, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I'm going to load here, hold on. If I remake my deck, that's going to change the layout, isn't it? Can't have the same... Yeah, let's... Okay, let's let's change out our deck. That might reset it. Um, all right, let's get rid of... Um, let's get, Yeah, we do have a lot of tributes. Let's get rid of some tributes we don't need. Uh, let's attack points. Okay, let's get rid of Sangha. We have two Dark Magicians in here. I don't need those. Let's get a Last Warrior. All right, let's keep Morphine. He's been pretty reliable. All right, that only dropped... Actually, that dropped us by 300. So we have some We have some slots here. We can put some stuff in. We can put in another Seven Colored Fish. Um, 260. Yeah, we can put another Seven Colored Fish in. Um, let's see here. What else can we put in there? Uh, can we rank it by attack points? Exodia obliterates. There we go. Attack. What what button did I hotkey for? Eh, don't worry about it. Hold on. Let me check the let me check the key mappings really quick. I'm trying to find that that sub menu. Uh, configure, default joypad. Oh, is it? Oh. Oh, there it is. It's the enter key on my keyboard. That's weird. Okay. All right, attack. All right, let's see what we got here. 
It's like the cheapest cards I can put in that have the highest attack. That are four stars. Dunamis Dark Witch is pretty good, but I don't think we can put her in. Yeah, it's too high. Gear Freed is 260. That's too high. Zark Zebra, also too high. Cyber Harpy, too high. Actuator is too high. Uh, let's see. Cyber Soldier. All right. All right, am I back? Oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, man, this sucks. Crap. Fuck. Are we good? Did we settle? Oh my god, we gotta get done with this. We gotta beat Merrick, guys. We don't have time. No, it's too weak. I don't even care. I don't even care. Just put something in the deck. Put Doron back in the deck. He's cool. I can't even put Doron in my deck? Fuck. Alright. Uh. Alright. I don't know. Uh. Kumo Toko. Put. Oh my god, I can't even put Kumo Toko in my fucking deck! Oh my god. Fine, fine. Dolphin. Two dolphins. Fine. Two dolphins in my deck. Like, right, whatever. Okay. Save. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go. All right. We're dropping frames. We gotta go. Gotta go. All right, this is the last duel of the goddamn game. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, it's kind of the same cards, but not really. That's a little weird. Okay, uh, whatever. Um, okay, Makiura the Destructor. We got Spirit of the Book. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay. I'm gonna just play with this right now. Okay, Legendary Fiend. He likes to tribute for Legendary Fiend. Okay. Morphine. Okay, great. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna tribute, summon Morphine. Uh, crush card. Okay. Okay, get, okay, get some attack in with, with Morphine. Okay, good, good, good. We're holding steady. Monster Reborn. He's gonna bring back his stupid... Why would you bring back the... Oh, because it's a light. My god, the AI is not that bad. It's all right. It's okay. Ow. All right. Oh, shit. Right, Geki. I'm going to use Dark Hole first, though. Dark Hole's better. I mean, Dark Hole's better for now. Okay. I'm just going to attack with Spirit of the Book. This is this is a battle right here. Exerion Universe. That's weaker, though. Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, widespread. Nice. Yes, yes. We're doing... Yeah, Monster Reborn only does your monsters for some reason. That's weird. Okay, Harpy's Feather Duster. Fuck you! Oh, but he didn't do anything! Oh, he can summon Slifer, maybe! Can I, use, I can't use the effect of, of Spirit of the Book yet, but shit. All right, it's okay. It's okay. We got Slifer. We got a Raigeki. Come on, he has 1,600 life points. Come on, we can beat Merrick before the stream dies. Ah, oh, shit. Fucking Makiara, that's okay. Come on, give me something good. Ah, uh, maybe? I don't know. anti Raigeki! Oh man, I didn't know he was gonna have anti Raigeki. That's better than regular Raigeki. Oh no! Somebody, oh yes! Somebody finally drew anti Raigeki. That the prophecy has been fulfilled. Oh my God! Just give me something! Yes! 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 We did it! We beat him! It's on screen too. Five hundred thousand dominoes. Did fucking Merrick rob the tomb of King Tut? Like, what the fuck? They just say, fuck it here. Take all the money. Just all of the money. Just have it. The game's over. The god card. Lost? Well, you didn't actually summon it, but whatever. Do 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 We did it, guys! We won the game! Warg! <laughs> oh no, I guess he just passes out. So all that shit about the... The inscription being on Merrick's back and being very important to Yami's story. That's just, yeah, it's fine. It's whatever. Merrick was an evil son of a bitch. We beat him. Game over. I'm glad it's over. Is this it? Is that it? Is that seriously it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was like, okay. Oh, yeah, Joey has to wake up. Yeah, Joey's up. Cool. Joey. Uh, Yug? Williams? You're really awake, Joey. What's wrong with that? Crying like that. You idiot. 
We were all freaked out and worried about you. You lost that shadow duel, and you wouldn't wake up. Sob. <laughs> oh, that's what it was. I lost to Marek Ishtar. So who won it all? Well, it's Williams, of course. Obviously, he beat him no problem. The decisive play with a seven-colored fish. Okay. <laughs> all right. Cool. All right. Now Marek's... No, I mean, uh, now uh, Mokuba. Okay. We'll be reaching Domino. Did they, did they just not mention the whole thing with the tower blowing up? I guess the tower didn't blow up in this one. Okay. Nice. How do you like that? Big attitude. Phew. Alright, now it's Mokuba again. I heard that. I almost forgot. I had to say this. My big brother woke up. Oh, okay. Alright, I guess they had to include that. Oh, yeah, Kaiba's still alive. He's cool. He's like, alright, great. I, I really gave a shit about that, but okay. Here we go. Oh, there's a Shizu. You have done admirably, Williams. Thanks to you, Merrick Ishtar has been thwarted, bringing his cruel design to fruition. Now may I ask for the return of the guy? I didn't even get a chance to use Rai yet! No! Fuck you! I don't care! I don't get a chance to use Raw here! No! Lady, I will say no to you five million times in a row. No! <sighs> okay, fine. Whatever. Take it. Thank you. I bet she said thank you very condescendingly, like, thank you. Oh, there's, uh, there's Rashid carrying Merrick. Isn't that nice? Aw, he's all tuckered out. He had too many gummy bears. Anyway, later, guys. Thank you, Williams. Get this little guy to bed. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess that's the that's the game. Thanks, really. You saved me, Williams and Yugi. Don't worry about it. We made it because we all worked hard together. That's true. In spite of everything, it was great. I had the fun com competing with everyone. Me too. And I hope we don't have a shitty game sequel. That would really suck, Joey. But it's a good thing that that will never happen. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards is an awesome game. It will always be like that. Yeah, that you could say that again, Joey. We should duel like we always do. Right, Joey and Williams? Yeah, sure enough. We can always play. It's not all ending today. See you at school. All right, bye. All right, guys. Um, later, best friends, I guess. All right, bye, Yugi. Okay. I kind of walked into a building, but whatever. All right, there it is. Got it. It took like seven tries with the live streaming, but we finally did it. We finally beat Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Card. That took me way longer than it should have. I should have gotten this done in three parts, or maybe four parts maximum. Technically, I did get it done in four parts, because this this is finally the version that's going on YouTube. Every other version I've streamed for, like, 15 minutes, and I had to, like, scrap it, because what am I going to do? Upload, like, here's part four, it's ten minutes. Here's part five, it's eight minutes. Here's part six, it's, it's 12 minutes. You know what I mean? There's strings, there's Mako, there's Umbra! And Loomis. I like the different colors, though. That's pretty sweet. There's Mai. Aw, oh, look at Mai looking at us. Yeah. There's Solomon. Oh, he looks pretty badass. We didn't get a chance to see Gramps duel in this. Yeah. What happened to Duelist of the Roses? So, I tried to actually play Duelist of the Roses, and it actually was not a issue with the stream, or it was actually an issue with the emulator, or the, the ROM file I was using, where a lot of the graphics did not show up. So, I have to get either another ROM, or I have to get, um... I could just play the game on my PlayStation 2 with just the Elgato. I, I, that's actually probably the best option. Uh, I might just do that. Do you still have those very short Sacred Card failed attempts? Like, I think there's like one left, but I deleted a lot of them. And there's Yugi with his cards. And the end is cut off. You can't even... It doesn't even show up the whole way. The, go, end. Okay. Great. Fantastic. Okay. And now it's... Oh, it's one of those end screens where... I guess... You have to reset the Game Boy. <laughs> I guess. Alright. Well, anyway. Uh, before the stream crashes again, I'm just gonna call it there. 
It's the end of the game. Thanks to everybody that really stuck it out and was able to, like, be here for every single fucking stream. Next Yu-Gi-Oh! game, I'm thinking about Duelist of the Roses. I just have to get some extra stuff for it and work around to see if I can get it to work. But I hope the streams will stay steady. We had one little problem here, but we streamed for uh, two hours and 30 minutes with only one major hiccup. So I'm going to call that a win. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm going to go eat. I'm going to have some dinner. Uh, but yeah, this will be Teching signing out. Later, everybody. That's another one in the books. I will save it just for the sake of saving it, but oh my god. All right. Later, everybody. Teching signing out.